Hey, hey, Dr. Tears. How are you guys? This fine Taco Tuesday evening. Everybody doing good? One day closer to the weekend, right? Mark York, what happened to Aaron Rodgers last night? Yours was the last comment I seen before I was three minutes late. <laughs> Sorry, gang. Hi, Tina. Hi, Toby Bird. Everybody. We got. We got a long one tonight, guys. I was still working on it at 6.30 and crossing my fingers and toes. And I had Amy crossing her fingers and toes from Europe that... Um, the program that I use would upload. When you get around three hours, it doesn't want to be friendly. Oh, wow. Rogers, he's out for the season. Wow. I'll be honest, though, man. Zach Wilson, I watched... Uh, something today or on a 13 minute replay but they didn't didn't say why he left the game and I watched that Zach Wilson <laughs> I mean that kid's impressive so if you're a Jets fan you got a bright future but anywho you're not here to listen to me or Listen to me talk about sports. Oh, um, we got 15 calls tonight, guys. Um, and I did pin a trigger alert. Hi, right, KJ and Ray. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. We're grinding, KJ. We're grinding. Um, and <clears throat> it starts out with a bang, and it ends with a bang. Maybe some... Not bombshells, but bombshell-ish stuff along the way. Um, the reason there's so many of the calls is because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. six of them that are 10 minutes or less with three of those being five, five, two, and four minutes. Um, so, but you're going to hear, you know, you might actually be shocked by what's being said about Landon. You're going to be pissed off about what's being said about Al. Um, there's just a lot in it, guys. There's a lot. So, the first call... 
is um I restarted my computer because I couldn't get StreamYard to work. I wanted to find out that I had the I still had the clips that on private. Yeah, that's how we roll over here to knock it. That's how we get down. Um, the first minute is 15 minutes long, or the first clip or call is 15 minutes long to the president and pay attention to what she says about how they're going to cover up her lies. Be nice. Hey. Hey. Did they come? Um, they let him do, I think it was like an hour and 30 minutes, but I'm gonna get in trouble for it. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. Oh. And that makes sense for you to get in trouble in your well, well, it does, because here's why they had the health people come here and talk to me. And they made it perfectly clear that no one in here has coronavirus. And they're tired of hearing that and they're tired of us. So. They made it clear to what now? That no one in here has the coronavirus. And they are tired of the like, lies going on from them that they just didn't want to come in here. They just want to do it from home, basically. They're trying to like skip out on their part and put more work on them, basically. That don't make sense. But you did get the meat, though. Yeah, 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 we did like maybe 20 pages. How many? 20. Good Lord. And like, that was like, like, deleting so I'm like, oh, that's really living, keep going. When I know you, they talk to me, you're not your mom's cousin, brother, sister's wife's husband. <laughs> they talk to a lot of people. Yeah, but I will say that they um, got some good stuff from just like we only talking to Landon. On you? Yeah, no, they, they, they got some good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff about you or bad? No, good. Basically, you know that I did everything and I was the one that everybody depended on. I was a lifeline for everybody, where everybody else done their thing. So Landon told that? Mm hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. But she's, you know, being honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a blessing. I know. I did ask. I did pray before I come in here for some good news, so I guess that might have been the one good thing. <laughs> yeah. You never know. You never know. Well, I mean, that makes me glad that, you know, she did do that. But you said they never ruled on the custody, right? No, they haven't. I think I'll do it again. Um... We'll like next week, maybe, because I have to go to court again next week. Okay, but she's appeared by phone, right? Yeah, yeah. But remember, I told you I got that note. <sighs> you got your walk? Remember, I told you about the note that came, that was slipped inside the yeah. mm -hmm. Did you give it to Katie? Well, no, I told her what it was, and I said I can't walk out because I can't give it to her now, but I told her to just keep it in my room, whatever, and uh, she knows about it, she wrote about it, and she was like, like it's, she's like, it's making sense now. She's like, I think I think I know what we're gonna do. She's like, and we're only on page twenty. <laughs> she's like, uh, but she's like, it's starting to really make sense now. She's like, the biggest thing is just covering up the fact of like, you know, stories that you told her originally. She's like, but we'll be able to cover that up, you know, with psychologists and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I gave her. Well, I explained like our family tree because I like. I mean, I told her the truth. I was like, look, I didn't really live at mom's a lot you know, teenage years, and I didn't live with her after that. So I was at grandma and grandpa's house, and I was like, you know, I was like, and then I lived with Harley's dad from 18. I was like, so, I mean, honestly, I feel like you guys are wasting time going into it to tell him. Yeah, because she sent me a message yesterday, Katie did. Yeah. 
and I yeah. explained that to her. Like, I told her, like, the whole thing, and I said, you know, like, it's good that, like, you know, in times like this that you can get closer to family and people like that. I said, but, like, to be honest with you, I was like, really, the people in Myrtle Beach has been the people that I've known since that chance that I moved there. <laughs> I was like, and I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. I know it's not giving you like a direct blood family member, but that's just the God's honest. <clears throat> now, pay attention because you're going to get the, you're going to get the dynamics going all the way back to chance. I'll rewind it just a little bit. Like. You know, I was like, and then I lived with Harley's dad from 18. I was like, so, I mean, honestly, I feel like you guys are wasting time going into a town. Yeah, because she sent me a message yesterday, Katie did. Yeah. yeah. And I did yeah. explain that to her. Like, I told her, like, the whole thing. And I said, you know, like, it's good that, like, you know, in times like this that you can get closer to family and people like that. I said, but, like, to be honest with you, I was like, really, the people in Myrtle Beach has been the people that... I've known him since that chance that I moved there. I was like, and I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. I know it's not giving you like a direct blood family member, but that's just the God's honest truth. Yeah. She wrote down all the people and then I forgot about this video that was made. There was a video made, like, I think it was past Mother's Day, and it was like all the kids I had, some of the kids I had talked, and they did this whole big thing. And, um,. They were like telling me how I'd been like a second mom to them and all that. And I told, I remembered about it. And I was like telling Katie to make sure she gets it from Harley. And then I gave her like all the students I used to teach. Right. And she said, you know, like some of them she would have to find on Facebook, obviously, because some of them, like some like the class, one class was in graduation this year. A couple of them. So I gave different ones. Then I gave people from here. So she was like going to reach out to them on Facebook and stuff. Well, good. What about so what 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 did you say the latest was with Kim? So uh don't know. Okay, so there's a new investigator named Patrick who's coming on the board. Because if they Why? If they weren't coming today, I was gonna be like done with it. Um, because they, so the state really wants to win this. Like they, without child, don't want to win it. Um, and then now that you know, like she's got to meet with everybody and tell them the truth. You know, like of anything that I know and don't know, they're on. They're like wanting to help now because they like believe me. And I was like, because I told Elizabeth the other day, I said, you know, I know there was like stories told, but you gotta remember people act differently. They're scared and stuff. And, and so now that. Um, now that she, uh, they kind of like, they know and believe me now, they like want to add an extra person to help. And then someone else is going to replace Kim. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't want Kim to be a I don't either. And it doesn't seem to me like she should be able to start and then be removed. Yeah, I didn't like that either, but she said they haven't got a final word who it would be. And she was like, but. But that's the reason they're adding investigator, probably, because it's, like, so much on Katie right now. Like, on the attorney Katie, because, you know, like, I'm not having Kim. Yeah. Should, that probably bothers her, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a lot on her. I mean, you know, like, guys, like, Elizabeth is a paralegal, and Katie and the other guy will be investigators, and they're, like, whatever, but they don't know, like, you know, the certain legal things to help her, so... Which Katie's an investigator girl, that's who I talked to today, but um I guess she had reached out to like Harley and a couple other people too and then I gave her like the people like you really called to like Katie, Melissa. I was like anybody that I, neighbors in Myrtle Beach, like said all that kind of stuff. I was like and no other than that prior to that would have been chance he'd have been my person lifeline to tell you about, but I mean obviously I mean I can't I can't give you his uh, his phone number but Right. Because he was, but if they go back and look in any of the paperwork from Harley, like, oops, like, stuff like that, he's wrote plenty of statements that says, I know all that she would take care of Harley better than I would. <laughs> like, that never was like a fire or anything like that. Right. 
because he knew better. Okay. Well, good. Hey, every bit helps. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, though, and, I'm, and I don't like go out on the limb with this, but I know Landon knows the truth. And it's just a matter of perfect. Well, she needs to tell it. So, I mean, it's. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. She knows better. She knows it wasn't me. Well, like I said, I, I want her to tell it. So. And they have to also think, too. People, like, you know, when they be scared, it's like, that, that doesn't always mean that's the person. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, usually the most person that's the scariest is the one that is not, you know? Because they have to lose, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. I wrote, it down, I think I wrote down like 26 things that I had to lose. And like I put them in like broad terms, like professional license. I didn't name out like six of them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right, right. So I'm like, come on. Right, and that is a lot to lose. Oh, yeah. I mean, I even was writing it down to like, and then it sounds silly, but I had, they wanted me to be like as, you know, in depth as I could, but like travel status. Girl, there's like stuff that, and I know don't mean anything in the long run, but it does if you're, you know, like some of the travel statuses I had that I'd earned over the years. And once you keep them for like five years, you don't have to be earned them. <laughs> and so, right. like, I was on like year three or year four. And so I was like telling her, I was like, to me, I said, I know that don't seem like, you know, a person's life perspective of a person's life. I said, but when you think about as much as I like to travel, do you even know that's how much it meant to me? <laughs> Like, so you, right, that, was, right. that, was, that was of importance to me because I like going somewhere and being like, oh, yeah, you get a free upgrade because we went to Hollywood. What happened? Free upgrade to the house in Hollywood. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I like that stuff. Mm-hmm. It was cool to have that for, like, your birthday or something like that. So, so yeah, that meant stuff to me when I took my family somewhere. And I know we'd get, like, a nicer upgrade or we'd get, like, free food or, or something like that or a free airline ticket. I said, so I know some of these might seem silly, but, like, that was a lot to lose on top of license yeah. or top of house, car, jobs, and money, husband, kids. I mean, you keep adding all that. I'm like, I don't even know how I'm, like, not listening to inmates in here and put my head in the toilet, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And from the way she talked, that, um, that um, old girl didn't have, like, any, like, reason to think of any kind of abuse or anything like that. I think mm-hmm. she's really starting to, like, hopefully, I don't, I mean, I know on the public side she still does stupid stuff, like, post stupid stuff, but it's all for attention and money, but I think deep down in, she, I mean, she's maybe making, maybe God's, like, because I've been praying for her. Like, I, really? like, I mean, I've been praying for her nonstop, not just because it's helping me, but, like, not necessarily, but as a mom. I mean, right. I mean I've been praying as a mom to, like, you know, like, I think back of things I've done wrong with, like, Harley, and I'm like, oh, I remember yeah. I had her one time about something, and it wasn't her fault. Like, it, so, I, mm-hmm. I thought back of that stuff, and was just, like, you know, trying to put all that in my perspective as I was saying my prayer. Right, right. Well, good. You keep praying for her because, you know. Yeah. And I mean, I don't agree with, like, what people do. And, but, but this is a good point, Katrina, that I think about it. Just as quick as we say, well, she shouldn't be putting, buying houses online and cars. People act different. If that's my theory, and that's what I'm telling you, people act different when things go wrong. I can't see. Oh, God, yeah. Everybody takes different. Right. I can't sit here as a person and tell you, like, that we're going to tell a jury that, well, if she was scared, she acted different, and then not turn around and accept that for Landon. That would be a hypocrite. <laughs> you know, hers might be buying things. I mean, I know on the public side she still does stupid stuff, like post stupid stuff, but it's all for attention and money. But I think deep down in she, I mean, she's maybe making, maybe God's like, because I've been praying for her. Like I, have, like, I mean, I've been praying for her nonstop, not just because it's helping me, but like not necessarily, but as a mom. I mean, right. I've been praying as a mom to like... You know, like, I think back of things I've done wrong with, like, Harley, and I was like, oh, I remember mm-hmm. I had her one time about something, and it wasn't her fault. Like, it, okay. so, I, mm-hmm. I, I thought back of that stuff, it was just like, you know, 
trying to put put all that in my perspective as I was saying my prayer. Right, right. Well, good. You keep praying for because you know. Yeah, and I mean, I don't agree with like what people do, and that, but this is a good point, and Katrina, that I think about it. Just as quick as we say, well, she shouldn't be putting buying houses online and cars. People act different. If that's my theory, and that's what I'm telling you. I can't sit here. Oh, God, yeah. Everybody takes different. Right. I can't sit here as a person and tell you, like, that we're going to tell a jury that, well, if she was scared, she acted different, and then not turn around and accept that for Landon. That would be a hypocrite. You know, hers might be buying things. I mean, you know, mine was freaking out telling stories because I had no clue. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Uh, People just have different ways that they that they handle it. Some people go shopping. Some people eat chocolate. Eat, 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 good, you know. So. Right. Oh, I was going to tell you. Did you ask about that thing? What thing, baby? Um, the care package. Well, I went online to look, and I can't. There's no way I can check and see if it went through. So no, I did, got did, to figure did, out. Did, credited? Oh, you didn't know which card to use. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I gotta figure out. Yeah. I want to say I use, I probably use my Discover card. Yeah. But um, I need to get on there and I probably just need to send you another one. I just don't understand. I wrote a my a message yesterday. I hadn't looked at it yet to see what it says. But um, I'm just gonna call Harley and have her order those books because I've read all these books in probably a month. So. I ain't got no more. No. I have heard the order-based books, and then I wrote you a letter, and then I put in there, like, hey, what books Harley was getting, and what books I wanted. But, um, I didn't, you're, it was just here about four. Well, you tell me what you want want me to order, and I'll order them. Well, I'm going to do from chicken, Amazon. I want to do the chicken noodle soup ones, or chicken soup ones, but I already did the Christian soul one. So, any oh, vote, I got yeah. any vote was going to get me the third serving, third helping, so I was going to have you give me, like, the first and second one. Okay, okay. Well, I'll do that. The publisher, they'll go ahead, like, they'll give it to me. As long as it comes from, like, the bookstore or the publisher or whatever. Or books in a million or parts of nowhere. Right. Okay. Hey. 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 Is that, is that the real Nicole, Mo- Nicole Mobley from the interview that's in here? I'm sorry, guys. I am screen blind. I can't even see the. Um, the next call is to. A L also on four twenty. Um, I cut it down to four minutes. It was originally eight minutes, and but the first four minutes they were talking about personal family um, on A L side, and like I've said before, we're not airing that kind of stuff um did you guys catch her talking about how they were going to cover up the lies in that first call On April the 20th, her attorneys were already claiming some sort of psychiatric thing is how they was going to cover all of her lies that she told before. I found that interesting. A little over.
over two months in their case. But the next call again is to AL. Um, they're talking about the change of venue and just the court in general. Um, and she's getting out of there. So rock on, man. I can hear you. I was like, let me try her back one more time. Because all I heard was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I can guarantee you that I will be getting out of here. I just don't know if it'll be even November. <laughs> but I am 99.9% .9 sure. So, you know. <laughs> we can go cruising, girl. Because I just. I got a. Her. I got a room for four. Yeah, there you go. I just. You just need to, have, like, stay on about keeping my court dates. <laughs> I wish you could do it at like the prelim here, and I wish you were allowed to like, uh, like, like push you know, it up. Yeah, like no, I'm saying like, I wish at the prelim here, and you were like the defense was allowed to like say stuff. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Defense. But they're not allowed to, so it's like you have to just sit back and wait. And she went over that with me how they can. She was like, even with someone standing right here, being like, okay, she's like, still not allowed to do it at the prelim. So when do you, so how soon after that can you? They, the prelim gives you the trial, but the problem is, like, they're going to have a hard time with jury. Like, it's, I mean, I'm sure that might be a month process of shooting down jury members. Because so many people have formulated the negative opinion, and then, you know, mm -hmm. like, you got to sit there. And then, well, what she was saying to me was they're trying to... And my thing is, jury. like, I know, I know they're that it's going to be difficult to find jurors in Colorado, but they're going to be difficult to find jurors in the United States. <laughs> I know, but um, the problem is, like, it sucks because, like, you feel like if it was, like, a national thing like that, they would let you just move to another state just to go ahead and, like, so you could keep your due process. You know? Listen it. Yeah. Because these, I get letters from Oregon, Washington all the time, and they're like, nobody really knows about it here. <sighs> Yeah. I mean, I, I would imagine, like, Iowa, for example. Yeah. I mean, ain't crap in Iowa. I'm sure they don't know about it in Iowa. Well, and two, I think, from what I get in some of the letters, and I've get not written some of these people back, but I think there's a lot of people who start to see things, but then they're afraid to say something for being attacked. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't say too much, because I don't want you to get in trouble. I ain't worried about these people, man. Well, you gotta worry about it, cause they'll be listening, and I don't want you to have mentioned something, and then they say, well, she wants to start talking about that, so now she's in trouble. No. I'm not gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I'm a good MA. I listen. I do what I'm supposed to do in here. I might not get done what I'm supposed to get done, but I do do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> um, but yeah. I met with Katie like an hour and 30 minutes. Have it. Good. I uh, hope that was good. Oh, yeah. I prayed. I've been praying for days, like, for something good. But anyway, I think they're here to get me. But, um, did Harley give you that number? Yes. Okay. So, you know what to do. And, like, uh, Katie has already talked to her, too, so. She has? So why didn't she just tell her that? Because I didn't know she, she already talked to her. No, she can't because, like, I didn't know. Like, she, I didn't know she already talked to her because it's a whole different thing. Family law and criminal law. Yeah. So, all right. I'll talk to you later. See what happens with that. They're here to get me. Oh, they're making you get off. Okay, and I got here. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Bye, girl. Bye. Global Tell Link. Next call is going to be back to the president on 421. Let me. Whoops. Edit the banner real quick. And then, <clears throat> well, first, 
Latisse was on her. <laughs> she's on her soapbox, and she doesn't have any mental health issues. And then it goes, that was the only call she made on the 21st of April. And then the next call is going to also be to the president, the union president. And she's, Aunt, Aunt Kay's worried about her. She's talking about figuring out what to sign the paperwork for being cremated and whatnot is so I'm not even going to stop in between calls it's going to be about 30 minutes hey hey how are you okay Ow. what's wrong oh nothing oh, okay you're like hesitant, not huh? like what's going on. Oh, yeah. Any yeah. visitors today? No, I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. I, I can't. They can't do that anymore because I tried to tell you guys that when, when I had you tell them, but they don't understand the consequences I have to face afterwards. So I just can't. What happened afterwards? I, I can't say it, but. What do you mean, Jane? I. And then on top you of that, you can just answer my question. Well, and well, yeah. And then on top of that, like I have to hear about like anything I said. People are yelling it from upstairs, so then it turns into you know like ten thousand different things. I got you. I got you. Not just that, and and then it's I get repercussions from authorities, you know, and it just it just it's not effective. If I got to sit here and listen the whole time getting yelled at, telling myself to kill myself and try to listen to my attorneys, and then, you know, um, them taking something they hear me say, one word, and turn it into something, you know, then that's when you don't create nothing but headlines. Because <laughs> that's all they do is sit there and listen. Because I'm at that side where those girls are. So. <laughs> And then on top of that, I have to hear about it because it was already supposedly supposed to be told to me that that wasn't, I wasn't to do that. And that they went behind the back and got another sergeant. So. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And so they just don't understand. They can come and say all they want to, like, hey, well, they have to do this. They don't understand what consequences that I have to go through. They don't have to do it. And frankly, they haven't cared about right. any of them, and they haven't cared about any of them the whole time, so what makes sure they don't care about that? So, I just have to tell my kids to do that. Right. And then we okay. can, you know, it's not going to accomplish anything. I mean, we literally did 20 pages in an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> and then I get put in a position where I'm sitting there like, yeah, okay, so some people might say, like, some of this is irrelevant, you don't have to read it. But I, like, for, if I can tell you this, for example, one of the police had wrote, had wrote them and said that there was a treadmill in the house. Well, you never had a damn treadmill. So, like, you think if they wrote simple things like that, but, of course I want to hear it all. <laughs> I mean, would right. you? Right. Yeah. I, 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 I'll call her and um, let her know. That's ridiculous. Well, because, see, they, I guess, well, guess when Katie called the sergeant, one sergeant told her one hour be all I could do. But then he left. And there was, it, when I got to the phone, it said one hour and 45 minutes. So I was waiting on him to come back. But he didn't know come back, so I just stayed on it. But even with the hour, they it, it disrupts their day, so and then right. they have to like, you know. Yeah, and not only that, you know, it comes with attitudes, words, and then I have to sit there and like, okay, just shut your mouth. <laughs> you know, not that I can't shut my mouth, but it's I shouldn't be put in those situations. And then I shouldn't be put in a situation where someone hears me talk about what what road GameStop is on, then they turn it into this whole big thing in here about GameStop. Like, say, so you know, it's going into Palmon. 
No. How do you know it's online? No, I said it will. When I'm oh, telling okay. you, if they feel like they have an inch, they'll give they'll give the wrong amount when it comes to me. The only reason you don't hear right no. now is because they're somewhere else getting ready to eat their food. <laughs> I mean. Right. Okay. That just makes me feel. Well, my thing is. Okay, if I'm adding up correctly, and I'm pretty smart when it comes to math, I mean, I would say that would be my good thing. So I'm thinking mathematically, 20 pages times how long? <laughs> okay, you get where I'm going there now. Right. And so it just doesn't. <clears throat> it doesn't make sense. And now once I've heard, like, people make stories about treadmill, of course I want to hear, I want to hear random stuff now. I don't care if it is something that said someone looked in the field. Well, I want to know that when they looked in the field that they didn't lie about it. <laughs> I mean, how do I know right. that they, someone went and rode a treadmill in the house Well, they ain't been no treadmill. Never had treadmill. That's just a simple thing. I know it sounds simple, but something like that. I mean, who knows what else? Right. So, I got you. I don't know. I just I wish you a lot. I could get like, oh, I mean, I don't blame you. I'd be frustrated, too. I, I, I swear I wish I could. But I just been praying every day about it. Because it is just not just the spiny means. No, it ain't right. And then, and then, you know, I feel like I'm so lied to about, you know, the whole other situation. And I know they're like, well, you just have to do it without my figure out. Like, it's not when I have to, like, you know, have to put up with so much anger training. I can only put up with so much. And then... That's you right, you're feeling But you understand what it does for people to a person mentally. That's how people kill themselves. Right. Because they can't, they can't take stuff anymore from constant, right. constant whatever. And thank God I feel like I have a strong enough brain and mind and God. Right. right. I understand what you're saying. I literally have about 800 to 1,000 calories a day. I'm so hungry all the time. It's not even funny. And I've never even been like that. You can ask Harley. I barely, hardly ever ate. But when I ate, I might eat, like, you know, Chick-fil-A meal. What well, do you think? That could be, like, you know, 600 calories right there, you know, to get fries. Mm -hmm. Then if you, you know, eat again, like, say you go to dinner, dinner, eat buffalo wild wings or something, and drink a glass of wine, that's 2,000 calories eat it easy, you're not hungry. But when you're doing 800 to 1,000, and then you don't have anything else to do, man, you just literally it. And so, that ain't um, a lot of food, that's the food. No. No, and they took the intros away. Right. So that was helping me, like, with a little bit of the calories, because, like, you have to get that approved, but they approved it for that short time, but then once they change your diet, but the problem with that is, when you change that diet, you know, you got to realize, like, one egg, three pieces of carrots, and then one tortilla roll. Just a tortilla, no. That will be a lunch. Because right. I'm not, because I'm not getting the breads and the carbs, now, Like the, you know, the cornmeals and all that. <laughs> and so, like, on top of, like, I feel like I'm starving to death all the time. I literally have nothing else to do. Yeah, that ain't a lot. And then I got where, and now, I'm not sleeping any because someone made this big deal about a darn blanket and took my other blanket, made me get a white blanket, so the lights are on the whole time. So I don't have a way to block the light now, so I'm not sleeping at all. So when I finally fell asleep the other day, this was on last week, I woke myself up because I was banging my um, ankle against the bottom of the bed, and it woke me up because I thought, I was like, you know how you can like, fall asleep and dream like really hard because you haven't been asleep or whatever well yeah I did. and in my dream i was kicking somebody i don't know so then two nights later i had done the same thing and i woke myself up by taking my elbow hitting the wall like man like literally like so i talked to the lady about it on mental health i'm like what was the big deal about the blanket like that helped some of it you know like why why is this like a big deal i'm the only person still here two months later why is it a big deal about me having a green blanket <sighs> Right. You know, like, I'm not trying to, like, break your rules. It's just like, come on, if you're going to stick me in here, you've got to learn that there has to be some modification. Because it's called human decency. 
Did you did you talk to Katie about any of this? That's funny. They don't like I literally have talked to them about everything the whole time, and they they don't care. I mean, I'm not being mean. I'm just telling the truth. They, they don't. And they told me the whole time, like, because I never like when I asked them, I said, "Try to do it right." And I said, "There has to be someone who makes sure in situations like this." And the reason I asked that is because I was on the phone, and when I was on the phone, they were telling the person I was talking to was telling me how that when someone else was in the same situation, I'm not going to say person's name, but someone who was in the same position as me and it came out for my case, but she was afforded those things because of how she had to be put in protective custody. So I asked them that in the very beginning, and I said, they said, yeah, okay, well, we can talk about that. We'll get someone to help. You know, and then once Kim is now, like, out of the picture, you know, like, I feel like I gave up on that because she was the only one that was, like, concerned about helping, you know. Right. So you feel like she was really wanting to help you with that, and you don't feel like Katie is. No. And, 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 I, and I'm not being mean about it. I'm just saying, like, if they're going to make decisions like that, they can't expect me to, like, just take all the consequences. On top of me trying to, like, prove myself so I can get out of all these freaking chains. It doesn't help. Right. It doesn't help adding more fuel to the fire. Right. And then, you know, like, okay, so, of course, they're going to call up here and do whatever. And, of course, they're going to talk to them. Like, okay, well, how about an hour today? But then they don't realize. These people get pissed when their schedule gets disrupted. And so do these inmates. And people can say, well, they're going to get mad at you. Right. They can just say, well, they'll just have to be pissed. But then, he's not having to suffer the consequences. <laughs> like, right. I'll tell you what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Because they're not the ones there. And then I had to hear about, well, we told you guys that the health department has already cleared. Whoever the health person has already cleared. There's nobody here. And we're sick of people lying on us. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I have no clue. I know what you tell me, what she told me, as far as them. Them, what they tell me, what she told me. I don't know. I'm not out there. I don't know. Right. That ain't right, dude. And then here's the problem. You know, I just got the one guy to approve me to get the commissary. So, like, I don't need to have them think that, oh, well, I gave them, you know, a, oh, one little thing and I'm not to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because if I say, or if I, if I ask the question about it, or I'm like, well, why can't I do this with them, the attorneys, then they'll take, like, these are things just got understand. Right. Real. And, like, I literally just got that, like, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy because it's just some stupid junk food that I don't ever eat, but right now eating 100, 800 calories, like, I am going to depend on trying to get some of that. <laughs> right. So I don't need to have, like, I see what you're shaking up some drama. You know, I don't want any drama with anybody else on this show. I don't want none of that, because then it does nothing to cause me, you know. Right. I, I talked to saying. them about the, um, look, they returned that packet thing, so they had to credit you. I don't know. They said since that's an outside vendor, it's hard to, like, like, I guess when it gets here, you just, like, kick back or something, or, like, kick back before or something. I don't know. So... Okay. I, I talked to the mental health lady and I said, look, I said, there has to be something that someone can do. I says, I said, I understand you want me to be in the cell phone, so, okay. I said, but I am losing my mind mentally and I am not sleeping that I've injured myself in my sleep unintentionally. And I says, I, I said, this is not safe. <laughs> and what did she say? Well, apparently that lady that controls classification and all them people, they're like the head dogs, the Beatles, whatever. I don't, you know, she's like, I'll try to talk to them, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to listen to me, basically. Right. But I'm like, this is what mental what, what, why is mental health then? They don't realize that mental health is far more than, I mean, because I, I told her, I said, I feel like they just want me to be thrown somewhere and get taken. You have one minute remaining. Because every time you turn around, they'll be like, well, I can get you pill for that. No, I don't want those. 
Right. That ain't the answer. Don't in there to go to sleep just because I've spent two and three hours done for the answer. It might be for a lot of people, and I think she got mad because I said that, but I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning it. Mean for some people that works, but not for me. I don't have a mental health issue or history. But I feel like you're trying to force right. me to have one. And I see what you're saying. I mean, you're making sense. But anyway. Sorry about being on the soapbox, but I just got just tired of hearing about stupidity and then. Well, I mean, but what you're saying is valid. Yeah. And it makes sense. I understand what you're saying. And then all they're going to say and is, got, oh, I mean, then, you know, you'll just have to deal with it. We're going to keep doing this. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. So then, and then and I am going to be pissed if they, if they keep doing something that's going to cause me to take away the facts, stuff that I just earned. Thank you for. In global telling. Hello. Hey. Hey. I have a question. If I have to do like okay. a thing because I want to be cremated, I don't have to have anybody. Do I have to have that notarized? No. Okay. Mm-mm. Why? Why are you telling myself like that? Because I'm just going to do the paper. I just wanted to know. Mm. So I. So I talked to Katie yesterday. She's, coming, she's supposed to be coming today. Yeah. We're doing the video thing again, but she says that they're, just, they're, they're not, basically, they're not being honest about the number of cases that are in that jail. That's not true because it helped the department team. And that was part of the talking to me, and I doubt that someone from the health, like from, well, I don't know what they call it here. We call it health department at home, but I doubt that DHIC, somebody would tell a lie like that. They just have no interest in telling lies like that. I mean, that don't make sense. Yeah. aggravating. I mean, I'm, I, again, I'm just saying now, and again, you know I'm not going to take the jail side, but I don't see a reason that a person that has a, a third party would lie. I, I just don't. It just wouldn't make any sense. Cause they have no gain out of that. Cause right. It could be re- been reported that way, and that person could have been here to even investigate to see, you know, if that was the case. And I, I mean, it's just not. Right. I mean, if it is, okay. they're they're hiding people uh, somewhere in confinement, somewhere that even the people that come here check on the health services parts or whatever you want to call it don't see them and i just don't feel like people this many people would risk their badge to do that there's people that do ignorant stuff here but i don't believe that 25 people in leadership would be that ignorant Mm -hmm. to hide it i just don't so i mean she can come on she wants to i'm not going to say anything i I can't risk it anymore You need to tell her that when she gets there, Letitia, though, or when she does the video. Oh, I am. I'm already told them people here that I'm just going to say it and hang up and go back. Because I'm not going through it again. And what did they say? Uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> so what now? I, I basically, yeah. I told them that for the next time because I didn't know it was going to be today, tomorrow, when it was going to be. I just said next time I'll just whatever. They said that, like, people that are going to court, uh, they've been giving them their normal 30 minutes, but he was like, well, that's just, you know, once every couple weeks, you know, so they, you know, adjust to that, but. I'm, I'm just trying to think, you know, what what, what would be a good move I, to make it this point? I just don't understand what, okay, I don't, I just don't understand what the problem like is like because when the D, when the DSS lady came, we were in that room that has a you literally can't do nothing but stick your hands through the other side and paper. And I haven't seen any paper anyway. I only hear them read it off the computer, so I don't understand what you know what the difference is. <laughs> mm. I guess logically, it just. You know, and I thought about it all night, how I was going to handle it. So I had to calm down before I said anything because I knew I might not say it the right way. <laughs> and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I've had to really work on doing that, especially with some people in the morning time and they run their mouths. You know, I've had to learn to, you know, this one guy comes in there all the time. He's like, remember I told you, he was like, oh, you, um, I got you some of my ha, 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 you probably won't ever get to go to IHOP again. 
and gave me the pancakes. Okay, well, whatever. And so then he came in this morning doing it about a burrito. And I just, I had to sit there and be like, okay, just shut up. He brought you a burrito? No, well, it wasn't a burrito. It was a tortilla shell, but he was trying to make it be this, you know, like he got me a burrito type thing. <laughs> he just doesn't yeah. need it because he only does great. He only does it to me. He doesn't do it to anybody else. He tells everybody else, you know, like, good morning, hope you have a good day, whatever, whatever. I just have to sit there and, you know, be quiet, whatever. It's petty, stupid, charge stuff. But people can only, like, you add up all those things, you give them 25 of those things, people can't take so much. But if you give them 25 compared to one, I can overload two, three, four, okay, whatever. But consistently, it's like, eventually, you just have to be like, what is your problem? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, it builds up. Yeah. I get that. I understand that. Like I said, I'm just trying to think of yeah. what would be a good next move. And see, like, I don't even understand this whole part of, like, uh, they got, like, the schedule, they said. And, you know, like, Katie's gonna call him, Liz is gonna come next week. And like I said, I added up in my brain, I'm like, how, how is this effective? I feel like I, I get nothing accomplished. Right. Not that little bit of time, you don't. No. We, that day they were here for the four hours. The affidavit we read was how much? Like seven, eight, ten, twenty, twenty at most. Mm -hmm. So that was just dissecting that in four hours. Right. I see what you're and saying. And I got it. Like, I have to still watch everybody's interview. I only watch a one, like us. Watch everybody's interview, which is going to be key importance. And then people that did interviews, I did, that commented, you know, like, hey... This, they live in our neighborhood. I've seen a picture and I never spoke to in my life. <laughs> so, of course, I want to know. So have you not got to watch that stuff yet, or are you going to watch No, I haven't. I've only saw, like, well, I've only heard about some of the stuff, but, like, I haven't got to. And, like, they were like, well, it's your, like, you have the right to watch it all because if people can use it as discovery, you have the right to watch it all. Because if there's something incorrect in there that we can go say, so, oh, that's why they're bringing another investigator on board because it's like, you know, they're going to go talk to certain whatever, you know, like people, whatever. And I'm just like, the point of it is, like I told you, they're trying to make this not a character thing. So that's that's all it is. It's like a, a little bit of this and then some assumptions here, some speculation here, and then throw the rest on the character. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's like, you know, you can convince people if you stand up here and have all these, like, you know, you have people lying, like, oh, yeah, the neighborhood, we saw this. We never saw this person go out play or something. Who knows? I don't know. Just using it randomly. And I'd be like, I never know this person. I don't even know who they are. So I'm talking about the one person that keeps doing it. Neighbor girl. I ain't never seen that lady, lady in my life. I have no clue who it is. <laughs> the lady that keeps making all the comments and she's a neighbor and she knows this. this and I'm sitting there like, first of all, there are a number of black people live beside us. Black people own three houses down on the right, three houses down on the left. <laughs> and this is a white lady. I'm just like. Right. I mean, when you say neighbors, yeah, neighbors can be, you know, straight behind you. But, like, we didn't, like, go talk to people. Like, in Myrtle Beach, yeah, I knew people on streets and other streets and rode the golf cart with houses, and, you know, it was different. I'd build a life there. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I'd ride to the next neighborhood on the golf cart. I knew people at the pool. I had students at the pool. You know, I knew people at the gym. Anywhere I went, I knew somebody. Or hardly knew everybody. But you would think that that's where we had to speak to all these people. And I'm just like, who? I don't know that person. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Like the girl from just making all the comments saying that Carly got beaten and stuff. That girl went to school. <laughs> and she had like, I'm not being mean, but she was in like special classes in college. So that tells you, mm -hmm. like, where her mental uh, capability is. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, God, that's so funny because uh, Harley was in daycare with, uh, what's my, um, what's her name? My 
stepdad's um, daughter. She had a daycare mm-hmm. on um, 211, I think it was, or 711, 211, I think. No, no, 711. And um, she always went there. She never went to daycare on campus. And I was sitting there like, well, that's a lie. Like, why is people telling this? <laughs> she never went to daycare. I didn't even know there was even a daycare on campus at UNC Temper. No, there wasn't, was there? I don't think so. Well, I never... If there was, I don't know. She never it. went. She went to Tasha's place for the first year, and then she, we moved a year and a half. <laughs> so it's like, early you lived in Ward Beach, she was a year and a half. Boys of mine, I just sit there and be like, What? <laughs> Yeah, they, I'm telling you, yeah, they lie a lot, man. And these people put anything here in the newspaper. Don't put that in there. I sit there and read some of this stuff sometimes. It's a new thing every day in this newspaper. Right? It'd be an article, like an update, and it'd be random stuff. Why? <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God. Write it all down. You'll have it. Always, no, like, sources tell me. <laughs> I'm just laughing. My sources. Okay, well, I did give her one name, a person in here that I knew was telling, and I called her the other day, so I gave her that name. And I said I, I, I called somebody who had to be either listening or telling. That's the officer. And she said who? And I told her and just why, and I gave her. And she's like, really? And I said, yeah. I said she could not have known that comment if a you didn't give it to her, Katie didn't give it to her. Give me give it to her. Or, or B, I didn't sure as heck give it to her. Right. How, did she, how did she know that she was listening? Or someone was listening in on the other thing. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. I get my and I mean, what I know you do, why they have to stand their weeds and the phone calls are recorded. That's so stupid to me. Yeah, they said that. So, like, you know, like they're like, oh, well, they can't use this. That doesn't mean they can't use it to go make up some story. Why Why my story ain't true? <laughs> it's different than yeah. someone's listening. And, like, I could literally just, like, went in the room and, like, just completely cried all last night because it's, it's just, like, it's pointless for me to, like, have to keep, you know, every day just being, like, basically survival of the fittest in here. And then you reach out to the resources that are here, and you ask, hey, could you talk to people about this or whatever, and then those aren't good resources. You know, and it's like, I can't pick up the phone and call any good resources. Technically, I'm still on track here, so I could still call mental health people, but what's the point? I can't, because it calls. So it's like... Yeah, I definitely wouldn't call in. No, I'm just saying, for example, like, it's something that's a better resource that's free, but, I mean, you can't. You can't, and you can't talk to me to hope here anyway in private. Because people have to stand there. And it is what don't make sense. I mean, when the oh, doctor yeah. is giving you medicine, or you're talking about your medicine. When the doctor came in, they had four people standing on the door, and I'm just sitting there like, how do you want to talk to the doctor about a stomach? Like, who would you want to? Like, come on. No. But I am glad one finally came. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Took a moment. But then, in, I mean, I it's like that expired. Like, the other stuff I was getting. And now, like, I haven't been, since they took that medicine away, I haven't been to the bathroom once. And so, like, I told the lady just a minute ago, I was like, could you please check into that? Because I asked for a renewal on it. I was like, because... I was like, I really have a really, really bad stomach. It's like, I'm telling you, I literally took vitamins every day. Vinegar, this whole stupid thing with vinegar. Well, I got a, a record from the doctor somewhere that said the vinegar helped with that. I literally would make apple cider vinegar shots all the time with turmeric. <sighs> yeah, that does help. Yeah. But, like, magically, people don't use... You have one minute remaining. They don't use vinegar for that, you know. I, I used to commit crimes to Courtney's people, but actually, I drink it. <laughs> but... Yep. That's what Julie was talking about. She drinks it, too. Yeah. 
I take and put turmeric in it, and literally, it's really, it's, it's just, it's just, like, it burns. But I can tell, like, if I eat something, it would start to, like, digest a little bit, and it's a, like, my stomach was as much. It helps with, like, bloating and stuff. Right. Yep. See later. Yeah, no. Well, I just have to say that. I'm sure the records, I've even bought apple cider, apple cider vinegar things on Amazon, so I could get the Amazon print out. <laughs> Consistently, right. you know, but that's sure I can't do anything you know. talking to people 30 minutes to an hour. How am I, I, can, I mean, you know, it's like, how am I logging in to do all this to prove certain things? Because as soon as right. I tell them, they're just like, okay, well, we'll just stuff like this don't go away so we can get it eventually. Then Global Tell Link. Hello. Hey. I'm sorry, guys. I was too busy jacking around in chat. <laughs> you guys are funny. Cracking me up. Um, we've got one, two, three, four calls that are a total of 10, 12, 16 minutes beginning on April the 23rd. The first three are to Harley. The fourth short one is to Aunt Kay. And then we have a longer one with Harley. And then we've got a shorter call back with her dad. Um, the first three calls you're going to hear about her commissary, uh, taxes, video calls, Al's taxes. Um, I'm not going to stop for the first 12 minutes because it's all to Harley. Um, and one thing I wanted to tell you guys too was remember last night when I told you that I seen a new unit where she was in when I told you she it showed up as the MED-2 unit I'm assuming is medical unit on the 23rd she is in the med two unit and you'll be able to hear the difference in the calls. I don't know why she's there. I don't know what happened. Maybe we'll find out when we get to 3000 pages of her jail file, whenever the hell that is. Oh, by the way, um, I got an email today. Uh, <laughs> She didn't have time to even get me a quote for the video calls. So maybe tomorrow she had an appointment. Um, so taxes, commissary, she's in a medical still coming at you. Hey. And she's in she's in full blown crisis mode too, by the way. She's in full blown crisis mode <laughs> about the commissary. So nothing. Yeah. Huh? Or do you do it? Um, just I was talking to, well, I got my appointment scheduled with the therapist. I was talking to people at Coastal, and then I was, I don't even know, I've been calling people. That's good. <laughs> what about you? Nothing. You okay? No. What's wrong? Hello? What are you 
text Katie for me? Yeah. Can you tell her? I just hung up with her on video, but can you tell her that they, uh, could she please, the mom said, could you please call that guy? Because they did take her commissary. They took it from me. Why? Because they're just, like, I've been having to go out for like an hour, two hours, and stuff like that because I've been having to talk to Katie and them. Uh-huh. So they just doing it to be balls. Yeah, cause I, cause I got a computer, cause Aunt Brenda she bought me a MacBook. Um. Oh my gosh, she <laughs> she doesn't know this, but she bought me a gold one. So I went and I returned it and I got a silver one. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I have to say, I know, cause then I. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can finally video chat you. But then I went online again, and I got the computer to work and do it and everything. And then it wouldn't come up your name again. So then I called them, and they were like, no, she can't do video chats. And I was like, that's weird. But... Did you tell them what was told you to say? Yeah, they were like, I'm not aware of any of that. Oh, my God. What day did you call on? This morning. So you called this morning? Yeah. And that's what they told you? Yeah. Let me see if I see this guy coming. to say something, but will you please tell, um, text Katie and tell her that, because I told her I'd let her know once I got back here, so just tell her that they just come and told me, but they did take it. Okay, hold on. Um, hi, thank you for being I literally don't even eat anything. Ridiculous. I had already gotten it for three weeks and they approved it. I'm on the phone with my mom and she wanted me to let you know that they did take away her cost. And then okay. tell her too that they did. You have you know. one minute remaining. Say hey, what? They did not tell her that they denied you the video after Sergeant Rodriguez already proved it to And asked okay. her, could she Sorry. please call that guy? Okay. I'm going to try to call that guy and try to call you back. She's typing right now. She said, okay, did they give a reason? No, but they had already approved me. They're just doing it on purpose and told her about the video of it. It's this too. That Sergeant Rodriguez already approved me of that. And then okay. you called this morning. Hang up in a minute. <laughs> then the classification lady came down this morning. Uh huh. And she said that it should work. But then they took the commentary because they're mad about me going out of here, and I assume. But they had already approved it. I got it three to four weeks. Remember, I was telling you about it. Yeah, that's weird. Thank you for using Inc. Hello? Hey, I'm waiting. The guard is, like, right across from here, and as soon as he comes, I'm going to say something. Just okay. All this. Um, also, another question. Um, did you... Hold on. Katie Hello? said, I don't... do not know that she can be able to do the classification and help me. I'll look into the comments. Can the other way with the nurse? Yeah, yeah, did they... you hear what I said? I wasn't, I, I'm, a, I'm last on the list to go out to, like, shower and all that, but I gotta be late at night. Mm-hmm. So I was just asking, well, can I, she's the call, so that's why I have the phone in here. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask you, did you ever file your taxes? Yeah, I did. Did you file them separate from Albert? Yeah, why? Okay, yeah, she did file them separate. 
Because, um, like, everyone's getting a stimulus check, and he's been bothering the CD saying that I got his stimulus check, but I didn't. But we already handled it, and that he should Why be talking would you to my got his stimulus check? I don't know. Um, but... Hey! Yeah. yeah. He's wanting me to check so, if I got know, his, but it's the problem. Oh, okay. People keep approving me for stuff, and now it's not working. So if Audrey, Audrey just came now two weeks ago and approved me to get video. Is in that class even come this morning? Check on it again, and now they try to call and they still like we don't know anything about it. So I think this is where the. You hear the difference in that this call and all the others, the echo. No inmates banging. She's isolated for this day. In my opinion. Communication is getting whatever. The same thing happened with the commissary. <laughs> right. They've been trying now for almost a, almost a for almost a month. So, like, literally they just call. So, what did they tell you exactly? I'm just not allowed to get them? They said that because you're in medical that because you I'm can't, they're not aware, aware of any approved, yeah, like, the, you like, being approved. To get this to work. And the inmate class come down this morning again and was like, it's, every, everyone knows it should be working. And so, this, Rodriguez came down, mental health left here one day and went to go talk to him. And he came down and said, yes, We'll get it straight. Came back and said it would work. It may cost lady. What's her name? Diane or whatever. Liz. She came this morning. She said it should be working. <laughs> she literally came here with you or whoever came here. And so, like, that's the same thing happened with the commissary. They like, like, yeah. So I feel like there's some kind of, like, uh, I don't know, communication thing. Yeah. Yeah, because my name was up online, so they told him to call and tell him Alpha 1. And the two days in advance, and that's what they've been trying to do. So, is there a way you can ask that lady from classification or, or anybody because it's not working? Okay. Hey. Um, I was just saying. Hey, he, Harley. He, yeah. Okay. Um, but wait, why would you have a stimulus check? No, he's he's wanting me to look at my account and see if his check came to mine. But I got one, but it's not mathematically possible that it was his. Everybody should have been but, No, because, like, like, you would have gotten 1200 plus 500 per child. Oh. Um, so I didn't get anything over that, so. I got but, you. But Julian's talking to his lawyer, so he doesn't need to contact us about that. But I thought he's already what? told them that before. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. That don't make any sense. The IRS would never give you his money. Yeah, exactly. They don't even have your number. He filed separate. Yeah. That's so stupid. You have one minute remaining. So you did leave. Yeah, we're, because we're, I, mean, I knew I was going to ask you about getting a stimulus, so you did get it. Yeah, I did. Okay. So it should have been the 12 plus the 5, right? Um, it's, yeah, the 1,200, yeah. But the reason why he probably didn't get his is because of the whole bank account thing, and then he moved, and he's like, you know, so. Probably. He shouldn't have closed the accounts. Oh, I bet you that's what happened. Mm hmm But that's, yeah, that's his fault. We can't deal with his tax issues. <laughs> no. He just won't harass her about anything, everything, because he ain't got nothing else to do but try to bother you and find out. He's trying to find out information, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, they, they need to tell him just to stop contacting y'all. Yeah. Did you get my letter? Your second one? Yeah. No. Okay. You should have one. I get, I printed off pictures, so I'm sending you pictures. Okay, just make sure you match what's online. I will. Okay, I think it's probably about to run out again. Yeah. Thank you for using. Hello? Where you better add money? You got my $200. <laughs> <laughs> Making out like a bandit. I can't believe you didn't get the call on estate taxes. That don't make no, any sense. No, I didn't get it. Because if you would have got the stimulus, you had to get the mm -hmm. call on estate taxes. 
I didn't get that. And you didn't get federal or taxes? Or I, I might have. I only got one thing of taxes, and I, it was either like $200, it was something, it wasn't a lot. Something's not right, because you should have gotten the Colorado state taxes. But we're working on getting my taxes, too. Hold on. Do what? But we're working on getting my taxes, too, because we're going to talk to the guy from Veteran Affairs. You, yeah, and yours is already in the system. Cause I, I know, but not my military ones. Right, I understand that. But what I'm saying to you is my taxes should have been like 5000 and yeah. 1200 or 1500 Yeah, well, I didn't get that. So... Miss Dee Dee said charge hasn't been deposited either. You might have to look either. and see if anything came from Colorado for um, taxes, like at the mailbox. Okay. Um, you said you wanted chicken soup for women's soul, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you supposed to order thinking... the other day. I know. I was freaking out, and I was like, I feel like I got the wrong one. You're supposed to get that one and the other one. What was the other one I told you? Yeah, you said the fourth or something. Yeah, the fourth one. Yeah, we have, we'll have to pay for the mailbox then. Yeah, because, see, you should be able to, um, the Colorado, Texas shouldn't have had any, like, because I had filed separate from Albert. So in order for mm -hmm. people that got stimulus money, they had to, like, I've already filed taxes. You see what I'm saying? Right, and that's what we were saying. Right. That, the taxes, you, I, put, oh, I, I put your bank account on there. His stuff would never know your bank account number. So I yeah, exactly. You, you. So was it only twelve hundred dollars, or or what did you get five hundred dollars for one kid, or how was it an extra kid five hundred? No, I only got. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. I keep calling, but I'm about to lose my mind, and I have to talk to somebody. You are. Man, this call. Is on the 23rd of April back to the reunion president. Um, um, commissary, and she tells Aunt, Aunt Kay that she doesn't have much left in her. What's wrong? So, you know how the other day I was on the phone with you, right? Okay, so after that, Kim came for like 30 minutes just to tell me what was going on with her and that I'd meet the new attorney and if we needed any help from her, you know, they could just call that she'd be working in Denver and blah, blah, blah. So I was telling her and I was like, yeah, I said, you know, can you talk to Katie about, you know, the schedule coming here and all that stuff? I said, because of the problems they were giving me, right? I made the comment. Mm -hmm. I made a comment and I said, yeah, because I don't want them to, like, come in there, you know, and start bothering me. And I said, then they'll probably try to pay my commissary. I kid you not. When I got into my room, they came in like a raid. Then they canceled my commissary and everything. They made a big deal. Uh, I mean, it was like I was getting all, because of what you're all over again and then made a big deal about it. Then today they kept making a big deal about it. And then so I told Katie I'd let her know if they canceled it. So Harley said she was just texting her to let her know. But... Like, I got it approved, like, back in March because I was in medical, right? Remember, I told right, you, I finally really got it approved. Yep. So, see. It's ridiculous. Like, it's food aid, Katrina. Like, I get it. This board doesn't allow that. But they they came and told me it was approved, and I got it three, three different weeks. And then on the fourth week, which would have been I was supposed to get it now, you know, they decide, oh, well, we're changing it now. We already approved you. But, I mean, it's like they're, they are punishing you. I'm telling you, that's what it was for. But, see, they're going to use the excuse that because I'm in medical, you can't get food, yada, yada. But I had it approved in March, and the person came back after two or three days back and forth and said, since you're not in here for medical reasons, we can approve it. Then I got it. Then I got it again. Then I got it again. Yeah. I remember the candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm barely eating anything. So it was the one little bit of calories that I'd get to, like, stay afloat. 
the All biggest right. insurers. And they took the, they, they, they're not letting you do the video visits either. Well, Holly tried to call, and they told her no. After inmate class, that Renee girl, whoever it was, Liz, whoever she is, she came here this morning and was like, hey, she's like, they're still having issues with your video. And I said, yeah. And she said, well, I got to fix. Everybody over there knows it's working. Harley called. Nope. Right. I mean, the lady from classification came over here this morning about it. You have one minute remaining. What's going on with the phone? It ain't been 15 minutes. You have 60 seconds remaining. Oh, my God. I know, but she said she was going to call somebody. Could you please ask her? Like, because this is like, I told her about how they were doing the other day about burrito in my room and shaking it and how they did me. I told her an update on a bunch of things. Like, this is, like, this is ridiculous. And what did she say? She said, well, maybe I could call and talk to the commander over the jail. And I was like, D- I mean, they approved me. Katrina already had gotten it. So why come now and be like, oh, never mind? Because I know they're mad because I'm having to go out of here. So I'm like, I had just that's... said that on a video visit and walked out of here. And they came to my room and started searching it for commissary. Searching it? For what? Yeah, to see if I had any left over. They were going to take it. I don't. I don't got much left in me. Can't treat you like this. Thank you for you. She just don't have much left in her. Her struggle is real. The next call, we're gonna go back to Harley, and they eventually get to where she tells Harley she brings up some dude's name that I don't have a clue who it is but how he took a plea deal and started up and went to prison but then got out and started a fellowship <laughs> so here we go tell Link Hello. Oh my God! If you don't add money, and I haven't called you in like three days, huh? I said if you don't add money, and I and I don't know why she tells her she hasn't called her in three days when she just called her like ten minutes ago, unless she's just making a joke. I've been like not calling you for three days, so I could call you today. What do you mean? How do you what? I said, if you don't add money. So I, I do have to, money. Because I haven't talked to you in three days. I did add money. Oh, I do okay. have money. I was about to freak out. <laughs> the no, it, I think back. it hung up because I, cause I was walking outside to have to see poop because she had her poop butt. Yeah. I think that's why I hung up. No. Did um, Katie write you back? Um, She said she's going to look into it. Did you, um, Amy's asking, did you get her gluten-free snacks? What gluten-free snacks? She mailed gluten-free snacks along with her books, but the books haven't gone there yet. The gluten-free snacks have. Um, no, I don't have anything yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm placing your order right now. It says it should be there between... Oh, hold on. I gotta find a different one because that one's not prime. But it should be there May 1st. <laughs> you got Amazon Prime? Yeah, I did the I did the 30, 30 day trial. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew I didn't have it anywhere after all the time I had it. Or did you just make it to account? Yeah. Yeah. So eventually have to, we'll have to log into the other account because you remember how I used to buy all them apple cider vinegar gummies? Yeah. We'll need that to show that I used to take vinegar all the time for my stomach and apple cider. Okay. At some point, Katie would talk to somebody about getting in. I know since you just, you know that it's just easy log in. Yes, I have it. So, um, Liz? Who is over inmate class? Who? Has 
calling is calling over to tell them that you are supposed to be able to call to do that. The problem is they have so many people calling. So when you call back, they just tell them that Liz in classification Hold on. came down to the medical Liz board. Liz at said, classification came down to medical board. Came down and said that my family is allowed to do video visits and that we're supposed to schedule them if they had any questions they're supposed to call her or call whoever because Sergeant Rodriguez approved it too okay and Katie's going to call by the other because that's ridiculous like Holly they came in here to take whatever I had left yeah if she's nothing else she is a high maintenance inmate. I pity the COs who have to be around her. What? Yeah. I didn't have anything left, but thank God, because I would have been mad. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's food, man. It's like, and they're not even buying it. <sighs> Dang, they don't have any on Prime. Okay, let's pay for the shipping. I guess you should do whatever you can to be quickest. Yeah, they don't have any on Prime. So the fourth course one's not going to be there for a little bit, but the other one should be there on May 1st. Okay. Yeah, I told them on May 1st that they're supposed to, Katie's supposed to come visit me on May 1st so I could be on the sale more. <laughs> that would be upset. <laughs> This is rejected. Who? Michelle E. again. Oh, that's awesome. I be getting rejected mail from people. I don't know what they send me, but. They copy all the letters that get sent here. Really? Yeah, make sure you know that. Okay. I mean, talk about regular, you know, stuff, but. Mm -hmm. I know that because um, I figured they was anyway because they bring them to me in packs or whatever. But um, Katie had told me on the phone, and I was like, "Well, I mean, people. Don't, I mean, there's something bad that people send me, you know. I mean, there's bad people that say bad things, uh, you know. But most of the time, it's people. It's good. Like I just got an Easter card from this one lady. He's sending me nice stuff. Oh, no, that's nice. Huh? I said that's nice. Yeah. Chicken soup for the woman's soul. Like, you know. Story to open. And fourth course of chicken soup for the soul. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure it's coming from, like, a publisher, right? Yeah, I think so. What is it, when it says shipping from, who does it say shipping from? Um, sold by Amazon. Okay. Sold by Light7777. Yeah, and I don't know if, it ha I think it needs to, you might have to go to... To be safe, I mean, you might want to try, like, Barnes & Noble, Books & Million, if it doesn't say, like, Amazon Bookstore. Oh, okay. Because if that's, that might be a used one from somebody else or something. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's oh. going to have to say, like, the bookstore, probably. Yeah. I don't know. It could say Amazon. I just want to be careful, like, Details. make it done right, because I'm about to lose my mind about, I've read two more books, one was about... These girls, it's really good. You'd like it. They go off to college, and they all have different personalities. <laughs> this other one, oh, God, let me tell you, it's about, you're probably going to be like, oh, my God. I happen to grab it, and it's called Southern Fried. And I was like, oh, that's cool. This is like something about South Carolina, because it was like talking about Clemson and South Carolina. <laughs> it's about this girl moving back home in South Carolina, and they, uh, somebody gets murdered. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, it's like, darn it, i got to change up the books. Yeah. Because I said so that would be 15 when I finished that one. But, like, I've been out of, like, all my, like, Christian-type books because they are, I've already read them all here. Who do, so the one for May 1st, that's the one that says 7777? No, that's the one. The one that says 777 is the one that's not prime. Okay. Check out uh, Barnes & Noble or Books A Million or somewhere like that. Okay. I 
sent my dad a letter and told him to send me the surviving soul one. And Amy said she sent me the other one. And Katrina's supposed to send one and two. Um, Sadie Muscular. I know. I told you she's just like Pipey. No, like when she stands her, like when she stands her front body parts, like her two arms, she looks like a bodybuilder. Oh, guess what? What? Guess how much I weigh. 102. 103. Yay. So it was 96, and now I'm 103. That's good. You must be eating a lot of DD's cooking. <laughs> Man, you and Courtney eat a lot of ice cream. No, that's probably it. <laughs> what? I weighed like 120 something. Lost like 12 pounds. That's not good. Because yeah. I'm always hungry, man. I'm never gonna eat. Mm -hmm. I told her, you know, it's so crazy. Did I tell you how it yeah. happened? Did I tell you what they did? What? I literally was on the phone with Kim and had just said that, and they literally came to my room and done it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, there's some really nice people here, but then some of them just like, like this one girl the other day, did I tell you about the cover again? No. I've told these people how many times I'm allergic to wool. And, like, I've had to put it on my hand twice to show them my arm breaking out. The girl came in the, the other morning again with two more gray colors of wool trying to take my covers. And I was like, stop. I cannot use that one. Mm. It's four o'clock in the morning, Harley. Four now. That's crazy. It's like... It is like they just like messing with me, man, all the time. And it's not, it's not just me complaining. It's like legit. Like this is like on the daily venue. And they have a first and like second for the woman's soul. Do what now? They have a first and second for the woman's soul. Oh yeah. Well, you can get those. Just mm -hmm. those two then. And you can just keep your eye out to see if you see the fourth one on like Barnes and Noble or something like that. See, yeah, I went on Barnes and Noble. Cause it's the second chicken soup for the woman's soul. You said it's the woman's soul first and second, right? Yeah. Cause I sent my dad to send me the survivor's survivor soul. He brought he put fifty more dollars on my commissary. Oh, they have the fourth course too. Okay. Oh, no, it's an ebook. Oh, turn it. Yeah. Everyone has that, but then it's always an ebook. Put like fifty dollars to the side, so when I run out of this fifty dollars, you can take fifty dollars out of that money to put on here because of my letters and stuff. Okay. And then we'll try. You need to. We'll try to find out about that Colorado, Texas, because that should have been yours too. Well, mine, but right now yours. Which is fine because as long as you're taken care of, but yeah, just try not to, Harley. Whatever you do, you do not need any loans for school. I'm, I'm not. We already talked to people today, and we're kind of at a waiting point because they can't really tell me much until they accept me. Yeah. Um, but I should get military and financial aid. Yeah. And then, um. What was I going to say about that? I was going to say something else, but I don't remember, but I don't think I'll remember it later at some point. Yeah, because you just don't want to have to pay back stuff in the long run. Because it just, see how stressed out I'd always be like about a student loan, oh, aggravating me. <laughs> Oh, wow. Suckers, I'm, I know they probably don't know where I'm at because they got all that money from me every month and they're probably like, where in the world she go? Mm -hmm. Like all the people, but it's okay because afterwards in the end, I'll be able to straighten all that out. It'll just take a little bit of time to like um, have to send off stuff and all that. You know, like to yeah. send it off and say, you know, 
I was found not guilty for this, but I was held with no bond, so I couldn't pay my student loans, yada, yada, yada. You have to just send a bunch of letters. We already talked about stuff like that I would do in the end. Yeah. So that should all, like, straighten out in the end. It just takes a while. But I'm writing a book, so I'm going to have to sell it when I get out. <laughs> it's going to be, like, a biblical part. It's going to have, like, a bunch mm-hmm. of like, Christian perspectives in it, stuff like that. Oh, that would be good. Just let you publish it. (laughs) Send me. I don't know, though. I might sell more if I publish it. (laughs) We'll have some juicy information in it, too. Did I tell you that I hit a thousand subscribers? Yeah, you told me. I'm going to do like Charles Colson did. You'll have to look him up. He um, used to work with Nixon and he ended up just taking a plea deal. They didn't have any evidence on him but he took a plea deal and he went to prison. And he only went for seven months but he started proving fellowship. And it's a big time ministry. And um that's kinda low. I should have cranked that up a little more. But did you guys catch that? The guy took a deal pled guilty went to prison for seven months even though he didn't do it (laughs) I'll rewind it thousand subscribers yeah you told me I'm I'm gonna do like Charles Colson did you'll have to look him up he um used to work with Nixon and he ended up just taking a plea deal they didn't have any evidence on him but he took a plea deal and he went to prison he only went for seven months, but he started proving fellowship. And it's a big time ministry. And um, it's pretty successful. So I was thinking about something like that because they don't have anything in jails. Like, you don't ever really get to do much, you know. Like in the books, yeah. something like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be good. Anyway, I miss Shamar, I miss Sadie, I miss Chance. So, make sure you call back about that thing, because she's supposed to be calling over to handle it. Okay. You might just get one book for now, because I can't... You have one minute remaining. What'd you say? I can't find... Because I can't find those books on the other... Because they're all ebooks, but the only one I can get is the one and so one that's not an ebook. Is there any other versions of ones that aren't the ones or four? I'll look. Hurry, go fast. Uh, you might have okay, like okay. a parent soul. Yeah, I think I do have that. That one would be fine. Chicken. So I, I told my dad to survive in soul, and they put her in the first second one. Uh, think positive, live happy, preteen, teenage, think positive, golden soul. Golden what? Golden soul. That'd be fine. Wait, golden, that's old people, never mind. Mother soul. Do mother soul, that's fine. Okay. Parent soul and mother soul, that'll work, that's will work. Thank you for using Global Tell. Next call. It's going to be to her dad. It's only about eight minutes. And just chit chat, really. I mean, there's nothing good, nothing bad. Just a dad talking to his daughter. Link. Yay. Hey. How you doing, girl? Trying to make it. Hey, Trying, Trying to make, to make it. it. All right. Okay. Well, Peace. good to hear from you. Yeah. Did you get your letter? Not yet. Okay. No, I haven't gotten a letter. Uh, but uh, are you starting eating anything? Um, they took the insurers away, so mm. I'll eat about 800 calories a day. I didn't hear you, babe. 
So what now? I eat like 800 calories a day. Maybe. Hmm. It's not a well, lot. Yeah. I have lost a lot of weight. Well, you don't need to do that now, Tish. You want to start eating something, baby. <laughs> On that, yeah. yeah. I know it probably ain't real good in there, but. Well, it's not bad. It's that I don't, like, I have, I can't eat bread and stuff like that, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, was well, they got a fix where you got to eat what they bring you, or? They, yeah. yeah. I guess you do. I guess well, you do, already. Well, this is where I'm at. If I was somewhere else, like in another ward, I could do other things. Like, if I was in yeah. another ward, I could, you know, change it mm-hmm. and all that, but. Yeah. I'm hoping they'll okay. reclassify me soon, because. I shouldn't even be in this one because I don't have medical problems, so. But they only got me here because they don't have, like, a protective custody place, so. Oh, okay. So they made me just stay. Yeah. Well, is your lawyers talking real good? Um, I talked to them today. Uh, okay. okay. We have a lot of paperwork to go through, so they're going to start coming every day for, like, one or two hours on the video because... They're not letting you know how all this virus is going on. So they've been doing video visits. So okay. uh, another attorney just got added onto the case and another investigator. And then a psychologist just got added to the case. So I think got like six or seven team members now. Yeah, okay. So are you in a cell right by yourself? Are they treating pretty good? No, oh, no. I wrote it to you in a letter. You're, you'll see. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Horrible, okay. I get picked on so much and talk, talk junk to. <laughs> it's not the inmates. Yeah. The officers and the people that work here. Yeah. Okay. They'll yeah. come in here and it's like the other day they came in and said, "We got you I hot pancakes and she'll never get to see pancakes again." And like shaking and laughing, like, and you know, I get you can't say nothing about what people say, but these are people that are sworn deputies. You know, you've yeah. been around that all your life. People with sworn deputies. That's just not the way you act. Well, yeah, that's true. I guess. Well, I just do just. Weird that all these things that happen online where they blame the cops and stuff, I'm starting to believe a bunch of it's true. <laughs> well, everything's going to have their day, you know what I'm saying? So that's the way you look at it. Yeah, the this, Lord and, like, and, there's a difference between having a bad day and like purposefully bothering somebody all the time. <laughs> they yeah. come in at 345 and take my covers. Now, how many phone calls can you get a day? I get one hour to call people and shower and do whatever. So, so you got to shower and uh, you got to do shower and call it all in the same hour? Yeah. 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 So. Mm. yeah. So. And like I'm in the See? medical ward, so like it doesn't like close down. So like the lights don't ever go off. I haven't had a light off the whole time. Like people are always in here because it's like the sick ward. So yeah. Like, nurses and doctors and all that's going on stop so it's basically like being in a hospital at night with lights on all the time so I don't sleep a lot either because it's just so so much yeah. They're like people in and out with the virus and all this stuff so well have you got to talk to Harley lately yeah I just talked to her a little bit ago because um they like so many people try to call up here to do video visits so they don't have my name showing up online, but they're supposed to prove it for her and my family. But they're, they, there's like a, some miscommunication somewhere. And they keep trying to get the video visits approved. Someone at the front visitation is not approving them. Um, okay. But I've already been approved to get them from like the sergeant, but I don't know. So I told her, I talked to somebody just a minute ago who said they were going to go call back over there and tell them again that I'm allowed to have it. I don't know. Okay. Well, there's so much here going on. That's all them virus mess going around. Man. God, man. I hope we, God, I can't wait this mess is over or something. God, anyway. I know, but it's, it's, it's keeping the attorneys from being here, like, you know, the courts. That's why my court date got moved from April to June, because you know that. Yeah. And, like, all that stuff, so. So that was your, that's your first appearance in there is June? No, I've already did first appearance. So what's the what's June coming up? What are you gonna do, June? The trial. The trial? No, a mini trial. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what they do is a mini trial is just where like the state calls people 
to yeah, yeah. It might be like random people, yeah. somebody who took like maybe the report or like, you know, it could be somebody who went there in like a body cam or something like that. And they just yeah, stand exactly. and talk. I got you. But the okay. defense doesn't mm-hmm. do anything. Like we don't we don't say anything really at that hearing. They just you know okay. sit there. And it okay. won't be televised because the media's not allowed. Yeah. That hearing. Okay. I think she's been okay. days. Okay. Uh, well, like I said, uh, I, I haven't talked with her in about two weeks. I know Angela said she called her and she didn't call her back. But anyway, she was probably tied up doing something anyway. Well, uh, I'm going to try to she talk to her. She might not. I probably don't even know. Because she's huh? worried about who she talks to that she don't talk to because there's so many people, you know. Okay. Okay. So I will let yeah, her know that. She's okay. okay to call her back because usually she don't talk to people unless I tell her, okay, that person's okay. Okay, like I said, and uh, but anyway, like I said, I know Angela sent her some money and she she called her back and she talked to some lady, but the lady, I don't know if the lady, I didn't even ask Angela last night, but she called back. But anyway, it's fine. Did you call Harley's so, number? Yeah, mm hmm. I didn't call her, Angela did. I called her, whole, I called it the other day, you know, but uh, it went straight to a voicemail or something. But anyway, she uh, but I guess she called her twice or something, but she was, the lady answered her, her phone or something. No, I'm sorry. She talked with her, called her Harley twice, and then she called the lady that she stays with or something. Got me? Oh. But, okay. But anyway, that's fine. Don't worry about that. But anyway, as long as you're doing good, and you just hold on, be, be, just hang in there. I'll let her I'll know. Harley's, yeah. like, very like scared about talking to people because of how she's been so upset in this process of like yeah. Yeah, some of the people you. who are like making up stories and just trying to get fame. These are people that I've like bought clothing for their kids, you know, helped them do stuff. And she's just so shocked that like, you know, people could be so dumb <laughs> and just trying to get yeah. them, you know, just trying to make a five minute fame thing because some of the people she was like mom we've like went to their house to keep them from getting their electricity turned off and i'm like i know yeah well well that's you know everybody's gonna have their day you know what i'm saying so just hang in there keep your head up like i said uh do what you gotta do praying for you all my family is got a lot of people praying for you too so that's that's gonna be the main case for you but anyway i I said i love you and I didn't get your letter yet. Maybe it'll come tomorrow or something. But anyway, I'll I'll get it and and uh, like I said, just keep contacting anytime you want to call, talk, whatever you know. Said uh, it's yeah. fine with me. Okay, but I to you need anything, you holler at me, then we'll figure out something. Okay. Okay, I will. But uh, go. Right. Well, you, no, you right, too. But you call me you. back. All right. Bye. Huh? Bye. Bye. Yeah. yeah. So Harley. The next call is going to be to A B on four twenty four, and she's back in the other unit ward block, whatever they call it in Colorado. So you didn't give us answers, Jeff? Huh? Charlie said you didn't get nothing I sent you? No, it takes time. It takes time. Even though they might say stuff is delivered, it takes time. They have to it says it's delivered. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, the book's, the book's not being delivered until May 4th to the 19th, but I yeah. sent you, like, uh, some snacks, some gluten-free snacks, and I sent you an adult coloring book with inspirational quotes. Oh, nice. Yeah, there you go. You need some inspiration in your oh, life there. I know if I told you some of the things happened this week, you'd be like, oh my God, blow my mind. I'm going to be able to write well, Katie got mad at Katie got mad at you. What happened? Katie got oh. mad at me because I told her she needs, I told her she needs to put gloves on and a mask. I said, when are you going to see Tisha face to face? I'm like, you can put gloves on and a mask like everyone else. And then she said, I'll go when it's safe. And then she said, um, with the guards being sick and the inmates being sick. And then she's like, and frankly, I'll take this up with her. I'm like, okay. Well, yeah, I get a lot of backlash because I have to do it on video and it takes so much time. But, but is, it, is it a, um, when you see it on video, is it like confidential? 
I'm going to say no because of all the things that happened this week. <laughs> So, I mean, Great. That's so people point. are listening to you. Yeah. I'm pretty, com- pretty confident. And then what I, do they do? Go tell people or something? Well, I made a comment the other day. I'm not going to say it on here, but I wrote it to you in a letter. But I um, I just got to get your address. I don't have a pen on me now, though. But I made a comment, and literally the time I got out the video making a comment, someone came and commented about what I made a comment about. And I think that could have been just... Like, yeah, that, okay. What, are the guards there with you? Like, Do they maybe do it? That's why I didn't know, but I, I don't you? think so, because the ones that are usually in this part are, like, really, really good. They're, they don't, you know, they've been here a long time. They don't time. mess with you. The, yeah, these, the ones in this place, I mean, right now, today, the ones that are here, they're the ones that have been here, like, forever, and they're really nice, but, um... That's good. Yeah, but, like, the, a lot of the other ones are here. Plus, too, I think the company that monitors the videos, they can, I mean, I'm sure they have the ability to do it, too, and when it be in such a... A big time thing. I mean, what would make them not want to? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I don't know if I forgot you called me. But they they, they copy it. everything I get, like in mail, like the letters. They copy them all and send them to the VA. <laughs> so, like, they read the letter before you send it out? No, no. Like, I'm talking about like the people that send it, like send email. They um. Oh. Copy they copy it like when they get so they you, copy it before they give it to you yeah they got you <laughs> I mean I figured that was happening but but still though it's given to the DA, DA for what <laughs> is everybody else's in the show being given to the DA for this one? yeah I don't get how like the DA gets everything but I feel like the defense doesn't like cause when well, I send stuff to the other Katie I'm like hey you know you should subpoena this person and she's like oh we can't she's like I'll try to get this person to talk to me but I'm like, if I send you something and you need to talk to a person, you should be able to make them talk to you. There shouldn't be a, I'll try to get them to talk, getting them to talk to you, like getting them to talk to me is the hard part. I'm just like, but if it was the DA, they would, they would force them to talk. Mm-hmm. Like, or lie. If or gonna like, be or make up so, lies. Yeah. yeah, so I don't get it. It could be the same both ways. Like if the defense says, you're my defense, you need to tell the truth and it should be the same as the VA that you're, you know, I don't know. I just don't get why it's well, different. Other, I asked this other lady who um, had a lot of experience with it, and she told me, she says that, I don't know why you're not getting that same thing back because she says your team can subpoena whoever. She says the only downside to that is, and she says not really a downside, she was like that your team would do that, but the DA gets a copy. And I was like, okay. And she was like, so then maybe just waiting a while before they do that. So I don't know. Oh, I see what you said. Wait until yeah. closer or something. Yeah. 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 You don't even know when the trial is. No, it'll be a long time. I don't know why it takes so long. Yeah. I've never had to deal with like court systems. This is the first time someone this is a good year. Well, and everybody does it so, you know, like, different. Where, like, if I'd have been in South Carolina, I'd already had, like, a bond hearing. They they don't hold you there regardless. I mean, unless you, like, you know, shot the prison or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of different. <laughs> Which I'm sure people in South Carolina might have thought of. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, I mean, unless someone, you know, whatever, you know, they, they give everybody there, like, a bond, and then they, you know, bondsman goes 10% or whatever. So it's the same way in North Carolina. But I just do things different out here in the Midwest and everything in life. So. <laughs> when will you guys do, um, like, your jury selections? Will that happen anytime soon? Probably after June, probably, like, August or something. Yeah. September, I don't know. But the thing about that is, like, that's probably going to take a month. <laughs> you know how many people they have to weed out? Because <laughs> they check, gosh. like, stuff like this. They said, she told me that they pull people's phone records to make sure they're not lying about knowing anything about the case. Make sure they're definitely not anybody in any of the groups and stuff. Yeah, she said that's that's what they do. So she said that's why that takes a long time. I mean, there are a bunch of people online that don't aren't falling for Landon's crap too, and it's not just like one or two. Like it's hundreds of people that are questioning her and her motives and how she's. You know, your kid just died, but then you're over here wanting money and stuff, and people are starting to kind of question her. Yeah, because they still don't know. But I don't know how to. Hmm? Those people. 
I can't hear you. Oh, it's kind of like on speaker to wash my hands. Oh. I was saying, I said they haven't done the funeral yet. If you're, if these phones never work. When, the one when I talked to you, it never works. If I put you on speaker. Okay, we can't hear each other. Yeah. So school's canceled the rest of the year. Oh, wow. We figured that, huh? Yeah, I mean, I figured too, but they're making us still teach all the way till June. Oh, well, I guess as long as you're getting paid, because technically, like, I heard that some people were saying if they didn't have, well, like, if their schools didn't have access to do things like that, but some of them were going to have to, like, come back early. But I said, uh, well, that's good then, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we all have Chromebooks. And mine's easy. They gave us a virtual school to do, so it's already, like, all the videos and everything are already made. I just have to just I just had to decide which ones I wanted, like in what order. Are you like uh, are they like opening up some places for the kids that don't have electronics or internet? They all have them. They pretty much all of them have them, and then they gave them wireless like hotspots Got for you. kids that didn't. We have these little kajits, and they run off of Berkeley's internet. They're hotspots. Oh. Yeah. So pretty much. I mean, I have, like, two kids maybe that haven't done anything. The rest have been all doing it. So, but I have good, good kids this year, which sucks. Because now next year I'll probably get some crappy kids, and I didn't even I get to spend the last. all year. <laughs> it <laughs> sucks, too, because, like, you don't get to tell your kids goodbye or anything. I mean, you some, I mean of course, you no. have a lot of them. But... Yeah, like, I mean, we, like we do Google Meets and stuff, but not all of them join. Well, think about seniors. Could you imagine not playing softball your senior year? Like, yeah, I would can't they, imagine not playing soccer my senior year. They did, um, see, they do it opposite here. So they did, remember I coached this year, but we do softball here because of the weather in the fall. So they do sports backwards here. So see, in, in Ohio, soccer's in the fall. So yeah. I'm just thinking, like, these kids here, and most of the kids right now are the ones that I had as freshmen, and they're seniors now. Yep. And I'm like, that. And I, and too, like, well, Harley and was talking about this. Uh, Dee Dee was telling her, "Well, I guess it worked out. You and Courtney going ahead, finishing the year early, because at least you got to have a graduation and stuff like that." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah. true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, no graduation. Yeah. yeah. Well, Harley, Harley seems like she's doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think some weight. And I try to like uh, keep her to like telling her like I don't tell her like a lot of the bad stuff that happens to me because I don't want her to worry, you know." Yeah. Like you guys, but I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, your mom got blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. it, but I know I told I her. usually talk to Dee Dee first before I tell Harley anything. I don't usually tell her I'll talk to Dee Dee first. And then we're like, yeah, we'll just don't tell her that part. And she pretty much doesn't watch, like, those groups. She's not watching anything online and stuff. So, I mean, every once in a while something will come out. I, I mean, she might see, but, like, the affidavit. I mean, we don't want her to see it, but she, she saw it, obviously. Right. When I FaceTimed her last night, she seemed like she was doing better. She just seemed a little happier and more smiley when she FaceTimed me and um, was cho- showing me her new computer that she got for her birthday. And I asked her what she's going to do for her birthday. She's like, well, nothing. I can't. Where am I going to go? <laughs> like, yeah. Everything is closed. <laughs> well, we'll just go to the beach or something. You can tell her she's had a lot of extravagant birthdays in different parts of the country. Yes, she has. <laughs> so, More than I have ever. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And she's had a lot of graduation things across the country. And she's had a lot of places she's been that people are age probably never get to see. So it's okay to yeah, relax okay. and have a little bit more. I'm 34 and I've never been in. Right. So yeah, that's what I told her. I told her it's nice to go to the beach or something because they did open North Myrtle. Yeah. Beaches are open, so it's like if it's a nice day, just go chill at the beach with a couple of your friends. Like, don't take a huge group because you know, still do social distancing. But yeah, um, yeah. So, but, I don't know. Well, let me know when you get your stuff, and if you need anything else. Uh, yeah, I sent that book, and then Harley sent you a couple more books last night. Good. And I don't know when hers are really all I have to do is read books because I, I don't ever get any time to like work out or do anything. So. Well, now you're gonna have a coloring book too if they let you have pencils. I don't know. It came with coloring pencils. Well, I got like pins and stuff in my room, so we'll see. Oh, good. Oh, so you mean you're not in what? Did, what did it say? The other someone said the other day that you got in a fight and then you were put into isolation. Critical oh, my K. God. That's cute. Critical K, yeah. man. She she actually. I, she, I told her as uh, she, um, she's like, well, my source um, just 
spoke to someone at the sheriff's office, and they, I'm believing what the sheriff's office is telling us. So I'm like, so somebody from the sheriff's office is leaking information is what you're saying. No, that's not what I was saying. Well, it sounds, it sounds like I should go ahead and pass that along to the defense. And then she's like, you're a defense. I don't, know, she, I don't remember what she said, and then she blocked me. I was like, oh. Girl, you don't I like when people have something to say against with you. I'm a fight with the air. <sighs> yep, you got in a fight with a guard, I thought. I think she said with a guard. You got in a fight with a guard. <laughs> and then they put you in isolation, and you're not allowed to get any phone calls or make any phone calls. You're not allowed to talk to anybody. You have no one way. minute remaining. Oh God. This is, like, it's hilarious. At like, point, like the and then they don't believe me. Like, I took a screenshot of my phone, like, that showed I just talked to you, and she's just like, well, I don't believe it. I believe the person in the sheriff's office is giving me information. I was like, great, I'll pass that along to the defense that the people that's in the sheriff's office are giving you information because they shouldn't be doing that. She just wants to be famous. Not the she that's what I said. I said that to her. I said, you just want to be famous. But then I think you should change your name to Crazy K. Yeah. She liked that. <laughs> I was having a lot of fun with her. My girl. She, she tried to reach out to me in the beginning. I wasn't stupid. I knew she was just trying to reach. She only had like 5,000 subscribers or something like that. She's got well, a she, bunch more now. Yeah, so I knew she was trying to, she was trying to get a lot of subscribers. <laughs> yeah, and I, I told like, her that too. Yeah. It's like, whatever. Stupid man. Yeah. But anyway, I'll talk to you. I'll get your address from Harley. So just text it to her so I'll get it later. So I can know okay. I'll give it okay. to her. That way when you have time to Okay. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Moving right along. The next call is October 24th to the Union Press. Thank you for Hey. 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 Honey, when we when we up yesterday and you tried to call back, I had I was out I had a dollar on there. Oh. And I couldn't get to my wallet to get it set up again. Oh, it's okay. And I text Harley, I said, If your mama calls you, tell her to call me. Yeah. But I had a long talk with Katie yesterday. And her boss is supposed to be talking to the boss there. Okay. Having a meeting with them. I think today or Monday. I can't remember the date. We talked for so long yesterday. Well, hopefully that, that you, might help them. Because, I mean, that, it, that, it has to be done. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, as much as I it, control myself, it helps if... I can, somebody can talk to people that, I mean, if you got a hundred things doing to one person all the time, consistently, people can't, like, consistently not, like, bite their tongue. Eventually, you're like, okay, you know, and I shouldn't have to do that when I have a bunch of people who are professionals at, at this, you know. So. Right. <laughs> now, the other attorney that took Kim's place, mm -hmm. and she is actually working on your case only full time. Yeah, she said that. She um, did. Well, she said she had a few, but they would finish up through this part um, once this virus thing passed or whatever. But then she would be able to <laughs> devote the, like pretty much all the time to it. And she's out of the Pueblo. Office. Yeah, that's what she told me. I told her to come get me and take me to Pueblo. <laughs> she said they get chocolate cake every day. <laughs> Y'all were, like, were supposed to be um, having a team meeting maybe Monday, all of you. Okay. Well, all of us met yesterday. The whole team. Oh. Huh? Well, three of us met yesterday. Well, no, this is everybody. Okay. See, I talked to Katie late yesterday. Okay. So that's why I think they talked over an hour. They want me to find out the next two days they're coming. So if you'll ask her to say the, uh -huh. the, the warders want to know the next two days they're coming. Because, see, I just got an hour out. And that'll help them schedule the hour out. Whenever I'm already here, you see what I'm saying? Like an ex, like so I don't have to go down, come back. But you see what I'm saying? So if they just has have the next two days that are day come. I know she's given a schedule to the glander, but I guess they're making the they make the you know the schedules now or whatever. Um, so I guess uh -huh. if I just know the next two days, I can tell this lady here, this the real nice lady, she's really helpful, and just let them know, like, hey, they're coming. Uh -huh. So you said Monday. Okay. Where you want? 
it just make verify to make sure, and then that way I can let the people know so they can schedule me my hour out like around daytime instead of nighttime or something. It just makes it easier gotcha. on everybody. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I, it ain't about making it easy on them. That's what I told Katie yesterday. I said, Katie, I said, now you know, and she's fired up, mad about it too. She says she thinks the reason you know you get so upset with her is because she doesn't show you all that emotion. But like she said, we see on each other's emotions. If she shows you all that emotion, and you know, it's going to make you even more upset. I know, I told her, I told her yesterday, I said, you know, I told her, I told her, because you were a lot about it, and she t- kind of told me about, I told her how sometimes you, I said, I said, well, just so you know, because I know you guys listen to the phone conversations, I said, if you hear me being upset, I said, you have to understand, I said, you come up very bluntly, and I said, you know, sometimes I'm over here getting, like, beat down emotionally, it hurts sometimes for people to come off bluntly, <laughs> you know, and then she said, I said, but me, Katrina was telling me, you know, good thing about it is, you know she's not gonna take any crap in the courtroom. <laughs> so, right. I said. I said. I, I said. I understand that. I said it's hard when you are getting emotionally beat down so much. I said you can't. You, you just don't. It's always bad news, and you can't never catch a break. <laughs> and I said you've already lost everything right. you worked hard for. And I said, and you can't catch a break. I said it's just not right. Right. And, that, you know, and, and she agreed with me, you know, and she said that she's fine with you going there, with her going there, you know, and you flipping out on her, she can take it or whatever. And she said, you know, she, she totally gets your frustration. She understands it. Because she's frustrated, too, she said. Because see, they're but, lying um, online. People are lying online. People are putting stuff online saying, last week I got in a fight with an officer and I got put in holding for two days or something. And I got put in confinement. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can, can you yeah. It's not true. So, like, the good thing about it is to go in front of somebody to say, sir, that's absolutely not true. She's been, like, a good inmate. You know what I mean? That's, I, I mm-hmm. do that. I know, I know how to be responsible. I've had to be around principals that I couldn't stand the way they might have made a decision. You know, or professors that made right. that because they didn't give me a good grade. Okay, that's one thing. That's everyday life things. But when a person like gets beat down and bullied, that's that's a whole different thing. I mean, it's like <laughs> this is a disaster, and I just and you can't be talking about health because that's their their people. You know, they're not going to right. Okay, cool. <laughs> so she said that the social worker girl was, and that's pretty much you know what she said too. You know that um it, it, it is an ideal where you're at, and it, you know, she does know the way that they are. Um, treating you and talking to you and how, you know, it's not right or whatever. Right. But um, I think she, she does have some things in the works in regards to that. But, you know, she doesn't want me to talk about them over the phone. And she doesn't right. want you to talk about them over the phone. That's fine. So, I, I, I talked, I get all that, I said, but you just need to make sure. Yeah. And like I told her, I said, I know you guys are handling the criminal part. Not that that's, I know that's the most important part. I says. You know, I said, but the problem is, I was like, you got to think now. I said, I have nobody on my side in this entire jail. Global <laughs> jail. Like, so I, I said, sometimes talking to people, because when I try to talk to them, it's like, sorry. You know, very minute, I said, but sometimes I'm talking to people and kind of explaining this is very Why? Can, can help. Because they got to understand, this, mm-hmm. is, this is probably the most unique they've had in a long time. You know? So, like, situation as far as, mm-hmm. like, a person in here and the media and paperwork. And, I mean, I got, like, six people on my attorney on my team now because they added a social worker. Right. So, I'm saying, right. like, they got to understand that it's a very unique situation and my life is on the line. So, I need all the people I can get. And, like, apparently they were saying right. that the DA was telling somebody that he wasn't going to try this trial and public opinion you want to make sure you cleared that up and I was like no it's already been doing that that's why we need the time to prepare <laughs> you know right so. right I agree you know and, and she does too but I and I but I understand you know her take on on right. not going there either right and I told her I get that and I mean that makes sense I told her and I don't know somebody's lying you know so whoever it is Regardless, so I don't know. It ain't my job to figure out who's telling the story about 
coronavirus as long as I ain't getting it. And the people that I care about that help me not being mean, I don't want people to get it. I'm just saying that's the only people I know. I, I can't vouch for if people have it or don't. So, and I can't get in a fight with people fussing. No, they don't have it here. Yes, they do have it, you know. <laughs> it's just like, that's going to do me no good. Right. You know? And like I told her, so how do I watch some of the video stuff? And she was like, well, we'll worry about that later, you know, towards the end of the, you know, May or whatever. We can throw all that in. And I was like, okay, cool. Right, okay. So once I told, I told, I had to go through everything with Katie Carlisle the other day, and I told her everything that I knew. And then I think once they all came on the team and she had had a meeting with them, they all were like, we understand now. We know what you told Katie, and we are ready to help you. They are like, this is totally, you're, you're being picked on, and you're being um, charged for things that are not even true. And so... Right. Every way that they could prove that, like uh, people, evidence, anything. So, well, good. As long as, like I said, she she is gonna help. Did, did she say smooth? And uh, you know. Oh no. Yes. Yes. Someone's coming today. Yes. Can you say today? She, uh, she is. But you don't She's know coming today. But then, like I said, the whole team. The whole team is supposed to be coming, I want to say, Monday. Okay. Is what she okay, let me tell Miss Mayhem. Okay. Huh? Well, and, and you know, it's like, well, anyway, it just, it just burns well, me up. Well, if they took me off of these stupid restraints, these two different things, I could just go out and medical anytime. The machine is outside my room. Mm-hmm. But you, I could sit out there for two hours and it don't matter. Right. Because, like, you know, it that only takes mm-hmm. one person and one person can stand down there. People do it all the time, like... Everybody else in there, they get to just, you know, walk out of their cell, they get to go to the kiosk, they get to go to the media machine, they get to go, you know, they walk around freely. So, like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's only 60 days. So, you would think that they could do that. That was one of the smart options to do as far as that goes, not to show rewards, you know. I mean, you can't talk as much as in there, that's the only problem, but you can listen a lot, you know. So, if you were just like listening. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. I'm just glad that somebody is okay. trying to like, be with people because I get like so many stories or like I told you about Harley trying to call about the video. And then, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. to do and I talked to Katie about that too yesterday. And the lady, Liz, was it O'Neill or whatever, she had just came to my room and said, you got this, it's cleared up. <laughs> And so, you know, it just, it's frustrating. So I called one of the other guys down and I said, listen, I says, I'm being really frustrated right now because there's like this communication thing. Because like today I came, I brought my socks and they were like, you're not going to bring socks in the ward. I was like, well, where else would I watch the map? And the ladies look at me like, I don't know, like, they let me take them down there to wash them. I have to wash my underwear. I only have two pairs. I have to wash one every day. <laughs> I mean, how, how else would I clean it? I mean, I have, they have the hot water here and all the cleaning supplies. And so they're just looking at me. Right. And I feel like I was like, yeah, because she's housed down here. She has, to be, she has to take it. And so it's just like something stupid all the time. When If they would just send out a memo, like, hey, you know, we understand someone's housed here. These are, you know, whatever. <laughs> you can't say you have to treat everyone right. the same in that instance because you're not treating me the same because you're not, you know, putting me with population. So you, that's the modification, like a student with special ed. You know, like you've got an IP. A big lack of communication. Yeah. So, you know, it's like I need an IP. <laughs> so, so it'd be uh, Jill, Jill uh, and IJD. So, you know, like, a, that would just be the smartest approach. And I guess I think so logically like that because I've had to, like, make plans for students all my life, you know, and I'm just like, not one. Mm-hmm. Everybody. 
so it has to be, you know, like a different one, but that's just my theory. Right. I'm not in charge, but I just feel like it'd be less of Right. Fun. But I'm glad that she's meeting with them because it's just right. crazy. I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I like I said, I'm I'm hoping after our conversation yesterday, um, the, the 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 woman over her will get the ball rolling. Yeah, because I told her about the pancake thing the other day and the, the burrito thing, and I said, listen, I'm all about people having fun at work. I said, but I said you got to look at this. So I said if I'm a teacher and I'm going around and I pick on somebody's shoes and I start making fun, I'm like well, I like your fake Nikes you got there, man. We're gonna buy some new Jordans. I said, that's bullying a student. <laughs> I said, if I repetitively do that, right. eventually the student's going to be like, right. my teacher said I can't afford Jordans, I have fake ones. You have one minute remaining. Right. You know, and I'm like, that's different. They treat with their coworkers. I'm like, Go ahead, I want them to be happy at work. I said, but you don't, you, you can't just keep doing that to people. And so when I was telling them some of it, I was like, I love you to be on my side. I'm just going to help me. She said, she's going to be get somebody and I said please but so you guys have been saying this for a while I said but it's really it's too petty and stupid now so. now did you tell that O'Neill that woman anything yesterday no because I she's not even somebody you can talk to because she'll just start because it's by your hair because I'm media oh. so it's, I feel like if I talk to someone who's already got that confrontational approach on me it's going to not end well uh that's why okay. I talked talk okay. to the mental health lady to see if she could be that bridge, that mediator, because people like that that come off like that, I either just shut down and say nothing, right. or I'll go back at them. <laughs> and that's not a good, I shouldn't do that. That's the wrong right. thing to do, you know? So I don't and want to that's, that, that's something I talked to Katie about, too. Exactly. And I told her, I said, thank you. Hey. Oh, uh, you're welcome, everybody. Um, the next call is going to be to the union president again on the 25th. And she's talking about throwing stuff up in people's faces after helping them out. <laughs> You know, like her and Harley did about the person that they bought clothes for and gave money to. Hypocritical much? Hey. How you doing? Okay. You had a good day? No. 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 Things been pretty rough today. Eleven oh, time I read at the ward with injuries and my ankle bleeding. So what now? So eleven time you can write that down. It's the eleventh time I've arrived to to the ward or from court with injuries. What kind of injuries? Oh, my back of my legs is all cut up now, and the back of my ankle bleeding. Why? Because they're stupid. I'm about done with it now. So where do you have to go today? Nowhere, but like I can still walk with them just to get here to call or take a shower or anything. Mm -hmm. did, did Kate, have you heard from, did, so did they come yesterday or today? No. I figured I guess because you said one day probably. Uh, let her know that I arrived against the limit time I wrote down that I ride back to the war or from court or something living. The back of my hand goes on just another grievance so on it. <clears throat> if you remember back, <clears throat> sorry, if you remember back a couple lives ago, probably even farther than that, I told you guys that the shackles on the legs or around the ankles or cankles, whatever you have, they, they cut you. 
I can't tell you how many times I put them put them on a, you know a guy and he had his socks up and you could see the blood through the socks they just do you know every time you step if they're too tight they just cut into you but if you are done a long bit or a long prison sentence it's called bit in lingo prison lingo um you get cal they get calloused up <laughs> so maybe she'll get calloused up come on t are, are they all cut up this time Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm texting her now. Steps on her ankles. Yeah, and then the lady from classification went back was like, sorry. Media's still out there, sorry. She says what to you? That the media is still out there, so they're not going to change me out of medical. And remind you, people are in their sickest head right now. People are what? And they're sick as heck right now. What's it? Oh, they are. And I don't mean like... I'm, tick I'm telling them everything. Like, uh... I mean like, um... All kinds of sick. Like, crazy sick, fever sick. Like, you name it. Mm -hmm. So, cause I had the lady on classification. I was like, hey, yes, it, you know, it's that 60 days. You guys said you would look at my house, and she was like, no, sorry, media is still out there. This is ridiculous. So I read another event that said, well. You're basically causing mental abuse at this point because I literally said I'm the only sane person in there. Then they so, said they sent a doctor in just a minute ago trying to get me into the presence, and I was like, no. So what are they doing? Like pushing you around, pushing you, or shoving you when you're leaving out of your your um. No. Room or whatever. I try to explain to them. Well, some people try to explain to them about you're only supposed to do three clicks on the legs. They do like six or seven, to the point that it's like, you know, with your legs, they're gonna expand because. Okay, that's bullshit. And I've done it again, like I did last night. Hang on, you know, I gotta find the spot. Because I know you guys listen to the phone conversations. I said, if you hear me being upset, I said, you have to understand. I said, you come up very bluntly, and I said, you know, that way, there are hopes in here. I thought so because she told me that, but I weren't sure if it was morning or afternoon. In someone's house here, these are, you know, whatever. <laughs> you can't say you have to treat everyone right. the same in that instance because you're not treating me the same because you're not. You know, putting me with population. So you, that's the modification, like a student with special ed. You know, like you've got an IP. Big lack of community. And so when I was telling her some of it, I was like, I would love for you to be on my staff. But let her know that I arrived against the limit time I wrote down that I ride back to the war or from court or something living. The back line goes on just to know the grievance are on it. Sorry, guys. Are, are like all cut up this time? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm texting her now. Steps on her ankles. Yeah, and then the lady from classification went back was like, sorry. Media's still out there, sorry. She says what to you? That the media's still out there, so they're not going to change me out of medical. And remind you, people are in their sickest head right now. People are what? And they're sick as heck right now. What's it? Oh, they are. And 
and I don't mean like I'm te- I'm telling her everything. Like uh, I mean like um, all kinds of sick, like crazy sick, fever sick, like you name it. Mhm. So, cause I had with the lady on investigation, I was like, hey, yes, it, you know, it's that 60 days. You guys said you would look at my house, and she was like, no, sorry, media is still out there. This is ridiculous. So I read another grievance that said, well, you're basically causing mental abuse at this point because I literally said I'm the only sane person in there. Then they so, the they sent a doctor in just a minute ago trying to give me antidepressants, and I was like, no. So what are they doing? Like pushing you around, pushing you, or shoving you when you're leaving out of your your um no. room or whatever? I try to explain to them. Well, some people try to explain to them about you're only supposed to do three clicks on the legs. They do like six or seven to the point that it's like. You know, with your legs, they're going to expand because you've got calf muscles and back muscles and all that. So you, that's why you can only do three clicks. They do like six. And then my arms, they all cut up. <sighs> I think my arms has like one, two, three, four marks on them right now. And the ankles are bad. The ankles bleeding. Just a bit ridiculous. Like, yeah, and I mean, I'm just sitting here and I'm fuming. Well, and the bad thing that pisses me off is this whole, you know, mental health lady thinks, well, if you take the medicine, then you'll be able to rest more. Yeah, all you want to do is take meds and go sleep all day? Because you, you guys won't move me out of here to move out, like, to be around and walk around? And then the doctor came by and was like, well, can we can push you on. I said, I don't need antidepressant. I need to be able to stand up and walk and move. Can you not stand up and move around in your cell? Yeah, but like, I'm in medical. Like, it's that floor that people pee and poop and all that dirtiness on it. Like, you wouldn't okay, like okay. No, I'm, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a nasty. No, no, I'm just trying to envision. Yeah, no, it's like a old concrete floor. It like, hasn't been cleaned in like 50 years. And like, ugh. it's like, I know Joe's not clean, but like, this is like, I'd rather be standing outside in the yard in the barn or something. And last, and not asking about cleaning it before, and they cleaned everybody's the other week. And they wouldn't clean mine because I was in there and had a bunch of stuff in there, but still. Because I'm paperwork and stuff. I mean, it ain't that hard to be like, okay, it ain't that hard to put me in a cell by myself. And that's that way I can just go out. These people aren't, the people that are in those wards, if they're stupid enough to start a fight and add a charge, then... I doubt they're going to do that. So what? They talk junk. These people talk junk in this crazy world. I'm not worried about people talking junk. The most of the time people like that are focused on getting out. They don't want to add drama to it. Mm-hmm. I just don't I'm sitting here messaging I just don't understand how there's not like like a review somewhere of all the grievances I put in and yet yet to even have anybody talk to me about any of them it makes no sense to me so then who, who's reading these I don't know, because I never heard anything from the email I sent. That's what I'm saying. And I don't have a way to contact the sheriff. I wish this thing was on there. I'm, boy, he, he, so I wrote all this down. This is the limit to him. I went right down more stuff mm-hmm. yesterday. I'm already at like six, seven pages. I hate to be like every day. It's like, oh my God, you know. 
Right. I don't understand. Only like read so many books. Like, only like my, you know, my ankles, like, my knees are just like popping like crazy, and like all only most of them, my arms and my legs are just like not there anymore. It feels like it hurts even being my back. I mean, it's like, come on, I can at least have, like be able to walk around or do some push-ups or something. Yeah. Everybody else that has these one-hour hours, they just drill them up on antidepressants. Makes no sense. That's what should, I'm telling you, so they turned out with their answer. Is that they sent the daughter to send me to get me into the presence. <laughs> that was their answer. Couldn't even tell you about the thing about not sleeping and all that. And, and how like I needed to get up and run exercise and things like that. Yeah, so they didn't have their solution. Is that maybe I need to be on the end of the present because it would help me rest more. <laughs> you tell me you don't need to rest no more. No, I need to like not do that. Like I don't need something to make my brain like rest. My brain's not crazy. I'm trying to make it crazy. Right. I don't know if right. they, apparently these people don't have any kind of whatever in mental health, but the students I remember, man, the worse they had and like things that occurred, the crazier they got. So like you can't say it can't be environmentally happen because it can. Right. Right. So I'm hoping that they are talking to them. And like really like I love to be I need like I I the papers everything I have written down that should be what I can go through that's how it should be approached because this is absolutely ridiculous I mean I'm at four pages <laughs> yeah that, that is ridiculous I agree I agree 100% I agree with you. Jane. So I assume, like, you know, she makes that meeting with them or whatever. So I guess tomorrow. I agree with you 100%, but I didn't hear a damn thing you just said. I don't know what day I'm going over to Discovery, but I. I won't be in here Thursday because they're making. I gotta go to court and I have to wait in that room, so I probably won't get back till late afternoon. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna have to go over there and talk to them. Preliminary hearing, whatever, for the divorce. But after I ride with everybody, right. I have to wait. So they come Monday. She said it would come two to three times a week, starting next week. Yeah, that's what she told me. So, let's see. Well, I just. That'll get you out a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. When I do that, sometimes some of the people in here have to literally stand there and be like, yes, I come out of these. Yes, I come out of these. Yes, how am I going to hold the phone? They have to wait, all these people. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God. So by the time I get to the thing, it'll be like 48 minutes instead of an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the, right. the visits. Because I sit there and be like, not the one lady in here, Miss Mahan, or something like that. She didn't know. But like, I just sit there and be like, yes. So how do you want me to hold the phone? <laughs> I'm going to put her head down right. if I need to write down stuff. Right. I, I, yeah, I get that. So, you, you called anybody today? You, you talked to Harley? I just talked to Harley. Yeah. Amy? We, we to how Harley. is she? She's okay. She says they're... She um, they basically all still just sitting around doing not much. She's saying Brenda bought her a computer. Yeah. But they're still not. Who did? Her, Brenda. But they're still not letting her do the video. Really? Mm-hmm. She said they're still yeah. doing her now. So. Well, because I finally told him Brenda, like I said, look, I said she is not. You you not talking about her going to go back there to stay for the summer work at the attorney's office. She's not twelve. She's not jazzy. I thought that's something you tell, you 
Like, Where she shouldn't she shouldn't put a attachments with everything that she does. Right, and I told her that. I let her have it. I was like, you, I said that was one of the reasons you'd always get me so pissed off. <laughs> you'd make me feel like if I didn't do everything you said, you know, you'd be mad about it. And I'd be like, Amy, no. at that point in time, I lived and worked teaching, and I couldn't just jump off and be like, you know, run there. She makes me mad. I told her that too. I said, you. Now pay attention to this part of the conversation. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do, you shouldn't attach things. If you want to do something, do it. Give it to them. If you want to give them something, give them something. But don't say, okay, I gave you this and you got it. No, I said, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Because that makes people more willing if you don't say anything. So then you, you know, you think I mean, about, if you want to help somebody, help them, but don't, don't run your mouth about it. And don't yeah. throw it in their face. And I said that to her, and I guess she must have thought about it for a little bit, because I always said two days later, she texted her and said she was sorry. And I was like, because I She really don't like me, I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> she does that for everybody, you know. Anybody that no, knows I don't her, care. that she does, like, anything that she does, like, that's hypocritical or, you know, not loving everybody type thing, she'll get mad at them and say that. That's why I hadn't talked to her so long. Because she made me mad and I let her have it that day. Because she was wanting to go buy stuff when all that happened. And I said, hey, Brenda, I said, you got to look. I said, she was wanting to buy some condos. And I said, we need to see if they're, you know, in, I said, in these subdivisions, I said, around here, I said, you have to see if they're able for short-term rentals. So I can do what I want to with some of my own. I said, that's not how it works. I was like, a lot of neighborhoods. Yeah, but I mean, she talks a good talk, but she ain't want to do all that. But she, she had it. Know that. And Katrina, I sent off for all, I did all the paperwork for her when I told my dad. I'm telling you. Oh, well, I believe you. It was but I'm just saying her, her. You have one no, minute God. remaining. I'm just saying, she claims she's going to do stuff, but she never follows through. Right. I okay. told her, I said, if you want to help Tisha Lynn, hire a private, a private investigator. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. As you, you talk and you got all this money, you want to help do something. Yeah. Don't Consider it, uh, the house was supposed to have been mine anyway. Because <laughs> it Ooh, was up, me up until <laughs> all that happened when she had a grandpa sign the paperwork away. You know, his mom had the property in the back. Because <laughs> mom was going to put a house back there. But, anyway. All right, so let her know about that and tell her, please make sure, even though I know she is, just a reminder about, you know, talking about that and tell her I put it in the grievance again about my ankle and all that. And tell her about the classification. Yeah, tell her about the classification lady. I try right. to be nice and talk to her and be like, okay, I need to be out and about, but uh, right. I even tried to talk to mental health to talk to her, but I don't know how she used to be. Okay. But anyway. Thank you for. Thank you, Jersey Girl, for the sticker. Um, the reason why I said pay attention to that part of that conversation was I wasn't talking so much about Aunt Kay. I was talking about Letitia. Because the next call... is to guess who... The bank is back in town, boys and girls. The bank is back. Aunt B. Thank you so much, AK, for the Venmo, my brother. Now, I will say this. I don't know why... Aunt B and whoever this other lady is that she's talking about that they're a friend um, want to take a 17 or 18 year old kid with them on you know on a trip um, but hey you gotta hear it to understand it so I will shut up Link. 
Hello? What are you up to? You're not at church. Um, say what? Not at church. You're in trouble. Oh, uh, no. I, uh, I got a slight cold, and then they got this drive-in church thing. Yeah, oh, that's you know, because right. Because of the virus. I did one drive-in church. I forgot. Yep. Yep. So, um, I got a cold, and I'm still laying in the bed. Be honest with you. Yeah, plus two, your aging, Brenda, that's just the people that's been getting sick and dying, so you got to be careful. I, kn- I know. I've been very, very careful. Very careful. Yeah. I even I even went out and bought a bunch of cloths and made a bunch of face masks to give that's out to people. Um, that's what somebody had to do here because, like, they had ran out, so people started making them. Oh, do y'all still need some? I mean, they don't give us none. I'm talking about, like, the, the workers here. They started having them made and stuff. I think they had them. They got them all now. They've been wearing them for a while. But that's what someone did. What you did is they went and made a bunch. Yeah. That's what I did. I, I even made a, I made Harley a couple to send to her, too. Yeah. So she'll have some extra ones and stuff like that. Because <laughs> they might be a while, so. Yeah, because the restaurants and all is all carry out stuff, you know. Yeah. You can't go in and and um I know Harley's birthday is Saturday. Friday. Okay. Friday, Friday. <laughs> and uh I told her that um her and some of her little friends were wanting to get together. But I told her I said, You really don't need to be around a bunch of people Yeah. Right now. So but I think they're going to have cake and stuff for us. Yeah. Well, I told her, I said, you know, five or six people, you know, one thing, but like, you know, they start getting a bunch of people, then, especially if you don't know where these people have been, you know, you yeah, know, I, anywhere, and yeah. Yeah, her and her friends wanted to have a, um, a week, a, a two nights at a motel or something. Yeah. And I had told Miss D that I would pay for it or whatever to get it together. And then this virus happened, so we had to cancel it. Yeah. So, but she, she, Harley's doing real good. She got accepted in school, I'm so glad. Yeah, well, I knew she'd get in that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She has I a was great GPA, she but she should. Yeah, I, I was so proud of her, and she, she called me, and she just laughed, and she said, I got in, I got in, I was great. Yeah, she so, called me. So, how are you doing? I sent you a letter, but I sent it to my dad first to mail to you because I ran out of envelopes. <laughs> so he's got to mail it to you from his mill because it's inside his. Kenny? Yeah. I don't know if I'll get it or not. Why not? I, I, I don't know. Do you talk to him? I mean, I, I called him the other day and I told him that I, because he sent a letter and asked me to call. Okay. Okay, well, I mean... So I did, but, like, I just figured, instead of having you get out with the virus, that he'd already have, you know, envelopes to pre-send it to you, so... Well, maybe I'll send it to him. So can you get letters and stuff? Yeah. I get a lot. And what... Huh? I get a lot of them. Can you get books, magazines, or anything like that? Yeah, Harley sent me a book. I gave people a list of books that I wanted, and because I already read like seventeen books. Like people were yeah. mine, but like you have to do it a certain way. Like you have to like have it has to come from the publisher. It can only be like books. Can't be anything. Well, Harley, I, yeah, I'll have to have Harley to, to email me all that stuff. Yeah. She got her laptop computer. Yeah, she told me. I was like, oh, that's good, because she, well, she's been trying to set up the video thing and couldn't get it to work, and now they got that to work with the computer, and now we just have to, they had, like, my name don't show up online, because they don't want random people, like, video people, um, so no. you have to call. Well, what's going on in chat? Who's being a racist? Somebody talk to me.
you know, the racist comments will be banned, not deleted. But I'm wondering if she's talking about these two on the phone and what came out in the prison calls. Okay. I think she was <laughs> I think she was talking about what these two were talking about in the prison call. Okay. Thanks guys for being awesome. Well, like a certain thing. And like when the surgeons had approved it, but I don't so they gotta get the communication right with the visitation desk or something like that. So I'm hoping I'll have it right for this week. Well, and I told her maybe she'll have it right together for her, her birthday. Yeah. So I, I kind of, I went ahead and got it for her, and Miss D went and picked it up for me and, and gave it to her. Miss D said, you want me to go ahead and give it to her? I said, yeah, go ahead and give it to her. Yeah. I said, so she can get it set up so she can make arrangements to talk to her mom and, and everything for her birthday. So I was wanting to get it set up for that. Okay. okay. All right. So I was wanting to make sure she had it so... I could chat and everything, so, yeah. So, um, then she found her place for her and her friends to stay. Yeah. <laughs> I caught on to it, Jesse. I caught on to it. <laughs> That's good. An apartment. I don't know if she told you all that or not. No, I know that they were, like, um, Somebody was like talking about it, but I weren't sure. Like, because I know some people had already signed agreements with Coastal, so I wasn't sure if they could back out of them. Yeah, well, she, she, um, I told her that I would go ahead and co sign for her. She's got to have a co signer, and I told her I'd go ahead and co sign for her. Because it's her and Charlotte, Charlotte, right? Uh huh. Is it her and Charlotte? Because I know Courtney was already locked in on the thing. There's four of them, four girls. Yeah. But she'll, be able, take, has a, but she'll huh? be able to take the dog, won't she? She'll be able to take the dog. It's ten more dollars a month, but she's got to make a deposit, which I told her not to worry about it. I don't want her to worry about none of that stuff. And um, it's going to cost them five hundred dollars each a month. Okay. So I told her not to worry about it. It will go ahead and get it straight out. I'll co-sign and and um and, and I, I'm not really co-sign. I'm, I'm kind of co-signing on the lease for her, on her part, because there's four of them. And so I'm co-signing for, for Harley. And then one of the other girls' mom had to co-sign for her. Yeah, Charlotte's mom. Yeah, something like that. So I told her not to worry about it. I go ahead and co-sign for her. So, Tisha Lynn, I'm trying to get proud as much as I can. Um, and everything, so... And what is her plan that she's supposed to be paying for this? <laughs> paying for what? What is she? How is she supposed to be paying for that? For what? Like, is she going to get a job? You mean how she going to pay for her rent and all? Yeah. Daisy, don't worry about that. I got to take care of. I'm going to take care. I told you not to worry about Harley. As long as Harley's in school and doing good. I'll take care of Harley. Okay. Okay. I told Harley to, and I send Harley money. I send her five hundred dollars a month. That's just money for her to have. And then the first time I sent her a thousand dollars, I sent her five hundred dollars for her birthday, and a hundred dollars for her Starbucks. You now she's got to have that coffee. I know. You know I, I sent her that part. Huh? I missed that for sure. Yeah, I, I sent her $100 for a car for that. I sent her $500, and then I paid for her computer. Her laptop, whatever you call it. I got her the one she wanted, so she got that for her birthday. She's going to have to have a car, so I told her, I said, the car is going to have to wait. Uh, when, when you can come down here to the house here, I said, we need to take pictures of Uncle Tommy's truck and his motorcycle and tools and put it on eBay. And I don't know how to do that, Tisha Lynn. 
yeah, and she put it on eBay or whatever. She was supposed to go help you do all that because you didn't know how to get on there. That's why you hadn't had it on there. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't have it. And I said, as soon as we sell Uncle Tommy's truck, tools, motorcycle, and trailer, that would be enough of money to pay cash for your car when you get your car. And I said, then what money I got to the side, that's going to help you pay your rent every month and your schooling. Yeah, I, and then I, then I got on for sure, and a lot of it will be gone. Put them on what? I said she, yeah, she would definitely be able to put it on a bunch of sites and the local sites too, and that would be yeah. gone for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I was kind of wanting her to do. And then um, a friend of mine that I travel with, an older lady, she lives in Pittsburgh, PA, and she's going to send me $300 a month as long as she's in school, 300 a month to put in an account for Harley to have extra money. Is and she's she really, oh, okay. she, yes, yeah, she is really, she's a sweetheart. She's an older lady. She owns 20% of Netflix and she's very well off and she, her husband's deceased and she has one daughter and she always wanted grandkids and she says, don't look my, like my daughter's going to ever give me grandkids. So she says, um, I'll help you out with your niece. And I said, you don't have to. She says, no, I want to. So I told Harley once this virus is up with. You're not going to hear a thank you until April the 27th. An official thank you. <laughs> and over. That we need, we need to make a trip to her house and let Harley thank her in person. Yeah. And meet the woman and thank her in person. She's going to give her $300 a month and she's starting May to feel. And that'll help. $300 a month, that's a lot of money for a complete stranger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to help out and, and stuff. So, and me and, her, me and this lady, we do a lot of traveling together. So I told Harley, I said, now, she travels a lot, Harley, and she may ask you to travel with her someplace, me and you. And I said, I travel with her now, and she's, I love traveling with her. She loves the water. This woman, she likes the water like Harley. Scuba diving, snorkeling, you know, she likes doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So she's a really nice lady, really, really nice lady. So, um, but she, she volunteered 300 a month and I thought to myself, you know what? You don't have to do that. She said, no, I want to, I want to help out. I want, I want to help out. Other directions to do things, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a lot of help there. And so, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got friends like that. You know, I, I do have some, I do have some friends that they're not around, they're not close by. Mm-hmm. They're not close by. I mean, I have a lot of good friends, but they don't live right in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's hard to find. I wish they. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I wish, I wish I did have good friends around here, but yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't have, have them here. Because they were the same way. They're always like that, so hopeful and stuff. And they were really like my family whole time, Myrtle Beach. So. You know. Yeah, that's 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 why I said my friend in Pittsburgh and Texas is where all my friends are at. I have none here. I really don't. Oh, I understand that. Crap! I don't even have. I'm. I don't even have any family here unless they need something. Yeah. Well. I've learned. I've. I learned that the hard way. I mean, and Brenda, you've always known that. Like it's. I wrote you that in the letter about how you know people are, you know, and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't. You know, I don't even have. Dick, I mean. I was writing a letter about how I remember about, you know, it would be mm-hmm. a, I would be there and you'd be there and Uncle Tommy would be there and I wouldn't see anybody else. <laughs> It'd be just yeah. us, you know. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't like to say it, but even your mama, she's, your mama's another one. She don't ever come around me or nothing like that. And um, it breaks my heart, but she's got a church group, but church groups are good, don't get me wrong, and I'm not complaining about that, but um, 
she don't even stop by. I've been, I go to her house, and half the time she don't even open the door when I'm there. Or, yeah. Well, that or, was why I told that lady, and she asked me about, because we had to do, like, a bunch of people, like, it can vouch for carrots and stuff like that. And she was like, I'm going to call your mom. I said, I don't know. There's no reason you even call my mom. I haven't even really listened. Just, just remember, <laughs> and I say this kindly, just remember all of these comments that you're saying for the next two calls after this phone call. Mom, I was like, I live with mom off and on. I said, but I live with grandpa and grandma and my aunt. I said, but mostly my adult life was living with Harley's dad and living on my own. I was like, so, and my mom was like, I didn't give you anything worth value in the last 20 years. I said, not be me. I was like, but no, mom just has a bit there. Just, uh, you know, she calls Harley every once in a while. You have one minute remaining. Yeah. Baby, I'm sorry, you only got a minute. Are you going to be able to call Harley today? Well, I try to, like, wait a day or two because I don't want to cost her so much money. But, you know, well, don't don't worry about don't worry about that. If you need to call her, call her. Cause, like I said, I keep her in money, Tisha Lynn. Okay. She 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 doesn't go without money, and she knows that she needs money. I tell her to give me a buzz. Okay. That's all she's got to do is call me, and I wore her and her money. Okay. Well, I call her. I'm gonna tell her to put fifty dollars on my account too. Well, you know what? I asked her about that the other day. So, uh, give me, uh, go ahead and call her, and then what I'll do is I'll send her some more money so she can put some money in your canteen or whatever you call it. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you for helping her, I'll, and I'll try to call you once a week or so, and you stay away from those people don't get sick. I'm not. I love okay. you, Tish. I love you, too. I love Bye, you. baby. Bye. And that's heartbreaking, the end. <clears throat> That's heartbreaking. To me, it was hearing it. Um, and I told you wrong. It's the next call, not the next two calls. You're going to hear with your own ears. Do with the whatever you want to do. I know you're going to spin it somehow. You're going to hear exactly what both these women are about in this call. Hi. Good morning. I talked to Aunt Brenda. She gave me low down all the stuff you hadn't told me, <laughs> but I didn't know how much of it was true. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. She says she will give you like five hundred dollars a month or something, and some lady says give you three hundred dollars. I don't know. I was listening. To that. I weren't. Yeah, I weren't sure. Like, what was true or not? I just went along with the story. I figured you'd tell she me. She said what? No. She said that she was supposed to be giving you five hundred dollars a month to pay for somewhere to stay, and you were starting no. August. No. Tell her you let me finish. And okay. she told me that some lady on Pittsburgh or something was giving you three hundred dollars a month for like grocery and things like that. She said that she she said that okay because because Charlotte wants me to like stay with her because I can't um because um uh, can't. And I was telling Aunt Brenda about it because, like, I can't stay in the dorms, of course, with two right. dogs. Right. Um, so I was telling Aunt Brenda, like, how much it was and and then, like, um, telling her, like, da da what do you think? What's your opinion? Because I would have to have her co-sign for me. Mm-hmm. And because um, I'm starting to believe some of the stuff she said because she keeps sending me money and she bought me a computer and stuff. Yeah. I mean, all she wants me to do is FaceTime her every day, which I, mean, I can do with that. <laughs> but... She said that this lady, one of her best friends, yeah, the lady. and she she said that she has a daughter and she wants more ch- kids and she wants to help me by giving me a lot of money or something. Okay, to help me. she told me that part, but then she said she was going to co-sign for you for that. And then I said, hey, Brenda, 
because that's all good. I said, my own oops, I was hardly paying $500. So she, she does not need to go to work like crazy. I said, on campus is one thing, maybe get like a work study job. I said, but she'll need that for like, you know, food and like the dogs and food, dog food, and yada, 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 until I can get out of here. And she was like, don't worry about it. I already have a plan. I was thinking over it last night, how I'm going to give the $500 for the first four months, and then we'll do it again in four more months. That's what she said, so if it means you need to keep making sure you FaceTime her every day. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I do. And it, when I mean FaceTime her, I'm on, face, I'm on FaceTime with her for like an hour. Yeah, well, I mean, she's going to help you, so, you know, let her help you and do it while you can, at least till I can get out of here, then you don't have to worry about it. But, um, but she wants to, she said that. She wants me to visit her more, and she has a bedroom. She's making a bedroom for me. I said, oh, God. It has a bedroom for you. A bedroom. She's setting up a bedroom for me. Well, I'm going to talk to her about that, about the whole visiting more thing, because if you're going to have, you know, you're going to have school to do, and you're still going to have to get a job, like on campus. She means, she means, in, like, she means in the summer. Oh, okay. Well, she told me she was going to, um, you were going to go down, and I said, yeah, Holly told me to have Aunt Brenda. I said, well, let me tell you this. I said, do not lie to that child about that. I said, because that's the last thing that she needs is people lying to her. <laughs> I was yeah. like, do not do that. I said, she doesn't deserve that. I was like, she's a good kid. I was like, I raised her with some common sense. And, and I said, she don't deserve that. And so she was like, no, I told her I just don't know how to use it. I don't know how to do it. And I was like, well, she ain't got her camera. She'll just have to, like, use her phone to do it. Yeah. Did Didi ever ask them about her computer? No. Um, well, he kind of asked my lawyer, but he just said that it won't be for a while. That's so crazy, because they gave him back all his. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I had to tell Didi about this. Oh, my God, so I was listening to some of the things. Well, then, do you want me to put you on speaker? Yeah, but then... <clears throat> I did forget to tell you that you just heard it. D is getting ready to do a be on the speakerphone. But I want to say this. Aunt Brenda or anybody who talks to Aunt Brenda. I beg and I pray that you wake up and somebody tells you about these calls and you cut her off, both of them, if you're still giving it to her mom, mother's daughter, as DeMart said, fits perfectly. Now, I know as of August the 2nd, you're still feeding Letitia. I know that as of August the 2nd. It's the last call I got from the prison. For the love of God, please cut them both off. I'm begging you. They're using you, and that's it. Speaker. Okay. Okay, so remember how, like, when I was there, and you were like, I wonder how that guy, that John Casey guy, knew my first name, right, Didi? Uh-huh. I listened to like I got to watch all the recordings and listen to all the recordings of people. <laughs> it was our who gave them to him and said you were the teacher and you were the one of the basketball wives. <laughs> what? Yep, your name was teacher. And laughing at you behind your back about it, and scheming and planning how to keep the money coming. For the love of God, somebody please tell this woman. Often you were a basketball wife. <laughs> Who said that? Albert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On the recording. <laughs> Stop. When did you say that? That was me.
remember in the beginning when you were like, how does that man know my first name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, I just, I would be kidding you know, I was like, and I was like, oh my God, if she knew that, she'd probably knock him across the head. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we don't even know why. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, I wanted to like call and cuss him out. Yeah. She be playing with her own crazy girl. Are you gonna try to get a video to Yeah, I'll probably call them today. Or whenever, yeah. Because I keep calling them and then it's like, Nobody answers, or it's like, um, sorry, we're closed. But then it says they're open. Um, yeah, I don't know either. Make sure to tell them, but like, look, she's been one over this, over and over, and been approved in her in her kite system, her email system in the jail, which is called kite. And the person in inmate classification, she came in and told me, like, it should be working. I went down there again. So, hmm. Yeah. Well, because Thursday I'll be gone out for a quarter because I have to get a quarter to Albert on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And then I told Katie to make sure she came on Friday so I could be out a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I, would, so I would be losing my mind and going crazy. Chance, no. I have to tell you what they did. I told well. a lady about being out and stuff. You know, like, look, I I really need to be out more. I was like, I'm, you know, it's just like losing my mind. I'm not like a crazy person like so many people. You know, they sent their daughter to me and tried to give me into the prison meds. What? <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. What well, helped me is to be out, to be able to work out, to like things like that because my arms are like getting like skinny and, <laughs> and my legs are like, I never had health problems and I started to feel. <laughs> Wow. I'm like, oh god, I gotta tell you about this book. So I got like, oh my god, I gotta tell you about, I gotta tell you about the Nancy Grace book. I tell you about that. Right? Yeah. So then the yeah. other book, the, so then the other book I got, so I had to get another one. I told you about the last year. Oh yeah. Okay, so that was that one. So then I was like, bump it, I'm going to go get another one. <laughs> yes, it was. What? It's about more cop stuff, crime. I was like, oh my god, is that the only thing in here? <laughs> Oh my god. I can't wait till other ones come because I'm in maybe like having to go through all this craziness with these these, these books that are in here. Yeah, they should be there soon. Did you get your letter? I did last night. Yeah, did you get yours? Yeah. Well y'all got your letters. That's good. Oh man. I just have to put my mail. Oh, so I guess this, so. You remember how like these girls like in here like fuss and torture me, right? Mm-hmm. They moved him to the ward that they get more time out. Mm. So I would call that like I guess a reward, huh? Uh, yeah. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Amber Brenda said. Um, so I told her I was going to have you put $50 on my account. So I put $50 on my account. And then okay. she was like, oh, crap. She was like, I asked Holly about that the other day. I don't know if she did or not. And then I asked her about the books. And so she said this. Once I talk to you, remind her. You have one minute remaining. Remind her. To remind her that you're sending me books and putting $50 on the account. And then she said, whenever she sends you more money, she'll add that to it. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't say don't forget to add that. Just say hey. I will. Yeah, I'm gonna send my fifty dollars and some more books because there's a couple more books she was gonna buy them, and I said I figured she wouldn't have to do it right or something. Cause now she's oh, old no. and all that. So I was like, I was like, I'll just call Harley back with the list. So I was like, they're in my room. I said you can send me those two, and she was like, okay. Then I was like, I'll just give Harley the money back because I don't want. She was like, I don't want her using her money. I'm gonna have to give her more. So I was like, well, that's my girl. Why you can't? <laughs> I know, right? So she's not like whatever. So and I told her to stay out of the virus because her age, you know, she could die from it really bad. So yeah. So stuff like that. But anyway, so I'll just keep talking to her about that, and hopefully she'll be able to give you that money for the thing with Charlotte, at least for a year, yeah. and that could help you until I can get out of here, at least until next semester. Mm-hmm. You know? 
so I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for using Global Tel. <laughs> Thank you, Light Chaser, for the super sticker. And somebody said, why are we saying poor Brenda? I didn't see anybody saying poor Brenda. But I could have missed it. My point was, it wasn't poor Brenda. It was wake the hell up, Brenda. And I know what has been said in chat and what people have text messaged me about what was said in the prison call. I haven't listened to those. Me, myself, I haven't. So I can't speak on those prison calls. Um, and finally, the marathon. We got one call left, gang. But it is very, very triggering. Um, you're going to hear a lot of stuff. So just like you've done for almost three hours, just continue doing it, please. <laughs> link. Global Tell Link. Hey. Hey. How are you? Okay. Did you get your visa today? Yeah, they came for an hour. I just hung up with them. Okay. They must have mm -hmm. let them do the two hours. I don't know. Huh? I said they must have let them do the two hours. Mm-hmm. Did I get a lot accomplished? Like ten pages, I think, maybe. Mm-hmm. It took okay. a lot, because like, you have to, like, listen to everything, you know, and, like, it's so crazy, because <laughs> some of these people that wrote it up, it's like... Like they don't have, you can tell they don't have a lot of experience writing, so they're like all over the place. <laughs> and they're like, uh, okay. like contradicting like simple things. Like, one minute something's uh, red, next minute it's red, and you're like, what kind of people? <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever hear anything about your commentary or anything? No. I don't know if, did, did she get to talk with them yet or no? We ran out of time, I forgot to ask. Did she what? But did she ever get her boss to call yet or no to talk to him? I uh, see. I hadn't talked to her today. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to ask because we ran on time. We were, she was in the middle of reading papers. They just wanted to, she just wanted to spend all the time reading. So. So who was there today? Just Katie. She read for the hour. So nobody else came. Mm mm. No, she said they got a schedule. They're just gonna call me and start just keep reading, reading, reading. So, mm -hmm. so I said, okay. She can't leave any of it with you to read? No, I wish. Wouldn't that make sense? <laughs> you? You would think. I guess they can't do that. I don't know. I guess it's probably like a security thing, maybe. What are you gonna do with it? I know, I, think it's, I don't think she's so much worried about me. It's probably these people. Because, you know, like, they go out oh, the okay, room okay. Like gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to get back on the phone. I try not to do that too often. Leave it on the side. I figured, I was like, I don't know if they went back to church there or not yet. And I was like, everybody's probably at church. Yeah. Well, you know, we still aren't having church. You said you started having it? No, we're not. Oh, you're not. Mm -hmm. having... Well, I know some people mm -hmm. are doing the drive-in churches. That's why I didn't know. Well, yeah, they're doing that, but I still watch, I just watch it. Yeah. I watch it here. Um, You can't do a drive-in service with a 22-month-old yeah. baby. Yeah, that's true. 
It ain't happening. And I'm not even one of the kids, too. Yeah. I'm losing my mind. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah. Right. Anyway. I talked to your mom a little while yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I try to call her at least once a week. She sounds good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Polly's still doing good? Yeah, she was doing it. She gained weight and stuff when she needed to. Yeah, hey, she. Yeah, because she remember she had dropped to like 90 some pounds. Yeah. Well, that's good. That makes me happy. Yeah, so. Have they weighed you lately? No, I think they do it like once a month. I don't know, to be honest. I don't really. I haven't even. I can't even get my own sheets changed out. <laughs> You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I get so frustrated with it out of existence. I know. Well, like, because I think every two weeks they let people change out their, like, suit uniform, their jumpsuits and their sheets and all that stuff. But they don't do that in medical because most people don't stand there that long. So it's like, uh, mm-hmm. like the Congress, just like the books. I brought the, okay, yes, I was told originally because to, to change out the books to bring them down here. So, okay, so mm-hmm. I started doing that because they didn't want to stand down there and do it. Now these people were like, no, these books are supposed to leave down here. We need to do a medical. So I was like, well, can you just call them and tell them because, like, it's just always different stories. Right. And I guess it's a constant different story every day because no one really knows what to do because they've never had people medical that long, you know. Right. Oh, I didn't tell you this. Right. This sets me off so bad. So, remember when I told you I told the mental health lady about um, one of the people that, I was like, one of the main people that kept starting when I came in this ward, right? So, they moved her to another ward. And it's the ward where they get, like, six hours out. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, you get, you get rewarded for that. Well, patient, they're they're, they're going to continue treating that way. Because, baby, they believe you're guilty, and they're just going to be mean to you. It's not right. It's not right at all. I know. But that's just how screwed up they are. It just, it, it angers me. You know, it really, really does. I want to get and beat the crap out of them. But then it, you know, I I can't imagine, baby. I really can't. Like I said, it just it, it irritates me. You know, that they're allowed to treat you that way. What makes it, it says a whole lot about the state of Colorado. What makes it like the most upsetting part is that. Right here is where it starts. I was over there talking to her. She was reading through something. It confirmed exactly what I thought. And like the whole time, you know, I didn't never say much to people, you know, in the beginning and all that. And then this whole time I'm sitting here, you know, and I've been like, whatever. And Albert is just as like, he, he's always been like a butthole type but if he ever thinks somebody he looks at him for something he turns on everybody else and starts making up stuff that pisses me off mm-hmm. because he worries about his security clearance and all that and it's like you're the blame it's his fault <sighs> Cannon hated being there with him he hated what? being there with he could not stand being there with Albert People think because Gannon mm. wanted his mama to be with his mama, they don't know what they're doing me. Because Albert didn't do nothing but run their mama down to him. You gotta think, you're that age and you hear someone running your mama down constantly. Yeah. Regardless of whether they're, you know what I'm saying? 
Hey, I know what you're saying. You don't need that. That's not right. It's still his mother. Right. And I'm glad they wrote that one all the time. So I said that because I was like, yeah, I don't try to take Landon's place. That's not my job. I don't try to give that emotional part of it because that's not my job. I don't want anybody to do that to Harley. <laughs> right. It'd be different right. if, like, you know, say she had, you know, like sometimes people become a widow and then, like, you know, they, they take over or they get married and they have the kids and the parent died, like, went to Harley. Once her dad died, it was kind of different, but Harley was already 12. So if Harley would have been, like, three or something, you know. Yeah. But. I'm just praying, baby, the truth's going to come out and. That's in my prayer. Because that, yeah. that, that's what needs to happen. Mm-hmm. Just, just a bad yeah. spot, baby. Yeah, like when I worked out in the car that day, I picked up my airport. I told him, I said, I think Yen ended up said about not seeing his mom and he he went like Albert and he might got the flow so we're gonna get grounded and I was like and he was like you don't say nothing about that <laughs> See that's where you're crazy because you know I, I told you you do say something and you let Katie know No I have but I'm saying I didn't originally because I was trying to you know do the right thing and be like on my husband's side of how you know, he always thought I was in cahoots with Landon to get, to get were, that there, you know. And it just makes you mad. Being me. loyal to him got you. Right. And that's all I did. No one good and well again yeah. was pissed about being there. And he was tired of, like, um, like his mama would want to come or something. And Albert made comments like, you're just like, Mom, stop coming here. I'm going to do this drug. I don't let people with drugs in my house. You know, like, things like that. And yeah. hard to hear all that. Yeah, that's his mother. I know she could have cared less, but I mean, she she was kind of more like a daddy's girl anyway. But mm-hmm. man, and, man, his mom is his whole world. So I was never trying to be, you know. He know he knew who did everything for him, but he also respected that I didn't try to take her place. Right. And I really believe you love him. Yes. I do. I do. I mean, I was sitting there, like, just thinking about that, like, when I was reading through some of that stuff, and I'm like... Let me play that for you again. Because it's the first time we've heard anything about love and Gannon being in the same sentence. And loyal to him got you. Right. And that's all I did. No one good and well Gannon was pissed about being there. He was tired of like, um, like his mama would want to come or something and Albert made comments like, you're just like, Mom, stop coming here. I'm going to do drug. I don't let people with drugs in my house. You know, like, things like that. I can just make her yeah. hear all that. Yeah, that's his mother. Well, you know, she could have cared less. But, I mean, she she was kind of more like a daddy's girl anyway. But, mm-hmm. man, and, man, his mom is his whole world. So, I was never trying to be, you know, he knew, he knew who did everything for him. But he also respected that I didn't try to take her place. Right. And I really believe you love him. Yes. I do. I do. I mean, I was sitting there like... Now, she doesn't say it. Aunt Katrina says it. Letitia doesn't say, yes, I did love Gannon. I do love Gannon. Nothing. She doesn't confirm it out of her own mouth. Just thinking about that, like when I was reading through some of that stuff, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, Albert was 
one at a time. And this game had a breakdown before he left and was upset. Because he was like saying something because you know he just got back from his mom and he was like why well, come my mom can't come here well you know daddy's gonna work I said honey she can I let her I used to let her stay with us in Little Beach you know but not like when I would ever I'm saying like you know when he was gone or whatever I'd let her come and I'd rather her stay there with them so they I knew they were safe you know right I was okay with that part like when we all were trying to co-parent I was like that's fine with me but he took it as like I was trying to be in cahoots with Landon and didn't told me I wasn't allowed to talk to her. <laughs> you know, so. You know, it sure does seem to me, Tisha, like she would come to your defense a little bit. I know. You know. Well, well she's going to have to because when the evidence comes out of all the messages of me taking up for her. For me, you know, letting her come to the house. <laughs> she told Katie that she knew I, I was the one that done everything. Mm-hmm. And that she trusted me. Yeah. She she told she what she's talking about is when she's talking to her attorney and getting to watch these interviews or whatever and reading the doc documents she's saying that Landon is saying that Leticia done everything basically saying Landon is on her side she did what? she told the people that in her statement I told you, just Howard is the one who wanted to pit everybody against each other. Again, starting to notice and all that. Yeah. Let's just pray, you know. Like I said, if it's going to come out, you going to get to come home. I hope so, because I don't know how much longer I can make it in here. I can't imagine. Like I said, it says a lot about the state of Colorado in my eyes. I didn't have to worry about me moving there. Won't be anything to do at all with it. Yeah. It's not how you treat people. It's not, it's not our justice system. It's not what our forefathers I don't know, it's clear in the, in the stuff that I'm listening to that it automatically became a witch hunt because, of, you know, Albert done his fake crying. He didn't cry any. You have one minute remaining. He didn't cry any Martha. through the whole situation, no line, nothing. Oh, but he actually cried when he wanted to cover his butt. <laughs> well, like I said, you let Katie you know everything. Don't you hold nothing back. I'm not. You know, regardless of what it is, she needs to know. Mm. That way, you know. I need to get up with Amy, my friend Amy. I am. Talk with her a little bit. There was some things she was supposed to be taking care of for me. How <laughs> oh, she? Yeah. I like that. I like her. Yeah, I love Amy. You know, you can... Thank you for... How's that for finishing with a bang?
Sorry, I was trying to. Well, I still didn't do it. <laughs> there we go. There's a whole bunch. Mama C already said it. There is a lot to think about in just those last six or eight minutes. I was... The adrenaline from just that is what got me through the rest of this afternoon and this evening. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> yeah. J.E. Averett says her mind is, or his mind is spinning and I just got here. Yeah. It was, in my opinion, one of the better batches of calls that we've gotten from day one. I thought yesterday's episode was was really insightful today's in my opinion was even better gave a lot of insight into you know her and chance's relationship Dif different parts of her life We need two more people to hit a thousand. Somebody go, somebody call a friend. <laughs> I'm punch drunk, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I am punch drunk and blind. Oh no, we dropped 11. It's my voice. They hate it when I talk. Okay, guys. Um, thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. This has been a long one. And I tried to finish out the month of April, but if I had put the last two calls, two or three calls, I forget how many is left for April my program just wouldn't it wouldn't do it if i get up around three hours it's iffy and this was like two hours and 53 minutes or something like that um so we still got i've one or two calls in april and I haven't even opened up Maze yet. But I, I've got to take a break. So for my own mental health and my physical health, specifically my eyes, I have to take a break for a couple of days. So unless there's some kind of breaking news or something on a different, I've got to get my mind off this case for a little bit too. I just do. Um, if there's, you know, I don't know. I know the manhunt, everybody is all up in that and Hopefully they get that knucklehead before he kills somebody. But 
as of right now, I will plan on a Friday, the next live being Friday. Um, I just need, I need some time away from this case and get my mind reset, I guess would be the best way to put it. But, and hopefully by Friday, we have, you know, some of the stuff that I've sent in or that she's supposed to be getting. Um, but thank you guys. Listen, you guys are awesome. Um, oh, I do want to apologize about the prison calls last night. That was an absolute disaster. Like I said, I, you know, during the live last night, I didn't listen to them. I simply took them, put them in my program, uploaded it, bam, threw them out. I didn't even, I didn't turn the volume down <laughs> on the t-shirt video in the background. So you had that audio going plus the call audio going at the same time. So my apologies for that. But for you smart asses who want to come along in the comments and make smart ass comments to me, kiss my ass. Thank you so much. To the rest of the wonderful docketeers who hang out here with us all the time, OGs or new, thank you so much. All the moderators, the best moderators on the internet, bar none. Thank you guys so much. Everybody who donates to help buy this stuff. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And we will see you guys Friday. Have a good rest of the week, gang. Bye.